Michael Martin, I don't even exist in your eyes, because all you see is a person's outside. Well, I'm a beautiful person inside, and I'm drinking milk. Do you know what that means? I'm growing fast in these years. The milk's given me a lot of what I need for strong bones, beautiful skin, and a great smile. And by the time my outside catches up with my inside, I'll have long since outgrown you. And you'll be history. Milk, it does a body good. Imagine me and you, and you and me, together eating golden grams. So happily, that crispy gram and honey taste was meant to be so happy together. Ready for fun! <laughs> oh, brother! An exciting adventure! Oh, boy! Let's go! Pirates! <laughs> the adventures of Raggedy Ann and Andy, Saturday! I love the feeling! When Saturday rocks on CBS! Quaker Oatmeal, the nose teasing, taste pleasing part of a nutritious breakfast. Maple brown sugar, peaches and cream, apples and cinnamon are giving up steam. Eleven snifferific, taste terrific flavors. Sniff, 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 sniff terrific. Instant Quaker Oatmeal. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Want to see some pudding? How can it be? I can't believe my eyes. New pudding roll-ups, pudding in disguise. They can be lots of things. Can't be, but the yummy, yummy taste, that's pudding to me. New Betty Crocker pudding roll-ups in milk chocolate, chocolate fudge, or butterscotch. Real pudding in disguise. New pudding roll-ups, am I surprised? Pudding roll-ups, pudding in disguise. New pudding roll-ups. And now, back to our show. Away. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, if you call working night and day to wrap all of this stuff up, just to have everyone rip it apart, wonderful. Oh, I think it is. And I can't wait to give these to all of our friends. Come on, everybody. Grab the presents. It's time to go. Well, I'm not racing around to deliver good cheer. Oh, grouchy. I'm going to have a Christmas Eve that really is a silent night. Now, well, that's the Christmas spirit. And we'll tell you all about it when we get back. No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> We'll be back before you know it, Grouchy Bear. Merry Christmas, Grouchy Bear! Bah humbug! Christmas, so 
I can see you. Merry Christmas, Christmas Mammoth! Mammoth. Merry Help! We're crashing! <laughs> oh, no! What's going on? Are they okay? We're gonna find out. Uh, uh, I'm caught. I wonder where we are. Come on out. Are you, are you okay? okay? Who are you? <laughs> Boy, are you guys really dressed up for Christmas or what? Andy. They look just like Santa's elves, Anne. We are. Pearl and Scamp. Santa's elves? Wow! Did Santa get my list? I've been very good this year. I even returned all my library books. About my Christmas, did I remember to add on that huge? You mean, you're the guys who build all those toys? Well, yes, that's us. Toy builders of the world. Santa couldn't do Christmas without us. Someone has stolen Santa's reindeer and sleigh. And all of Santa's toys! Oh, oh my gosh. gosh! And the thieves took off in Santa's sleigh with all of the gifts! Now poor Santa's trying to make more, but there's just not enough time. We've got to help Santa. Well, we'll help. help! We'll help! Those present nappers haven't got a chance! the presents or where they went. This will help you find Santa's toys. You're giving us your magic pen. Oh boy, let's go! But what about our gifts to the mammoths? We didn't even give them out or anything like that. We just... We've got to save Christmas for all of the other children, no matter what. Come along, Lorelei. We'll send the town crier out to warn everyone to look out. Will this pin help us find Santa's toys? I have the answer. Quick, ask it another question. Magic pin, how do we find Santa's toys? Seeks will be the treasure finder. Oh no! What kind of answer is that? You can always ask another question. Oh great! Now what do we do? It says, follow me! Let's go! Crazy Pen knows what it's doing? Yes. Uh, okay, Pen. Come on, everyone. Wait a sec. Cranberry bushes. He who seeks will be the treasure finder. Maybe. Maybe the pen means the Periwonk's treasure finder in Cranberry No. You got it. Like I said, follow me. We're as good as there. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas! A very Merry Christmas to me and me and me! <laughs> One sleigh? I can't do it, and I'm a wizard. No matter. Unload these toys, then go pick up the rest. No, no problem, problem, sir. <laughs> and if you and your friends ever want to see the guy in the red suit again, you'd better do what I say. Now move it. Santa's toys will be here in my castle, and they'll all be mine! <laughs> Had you really said?
hand is out. Oh, I'm so puzzled <laughs> to meet you. And so you can understand why we need the Periwonk's treasure finder, right? Of course, of course. It's awful, the possibility that there might not be Christmas. Yeah, so will you help us find the Periwonks? You bet, we'll leave right now. Come on, everyone. Hop on. Uh, uh, I do want to remember my very special letter to Dad. You mean the one written in cranberry juice with cranberry colored stationery? Asking for more cranberries? Santa, Santa got it. But why didn't you say so? Boy, we periwalks must have been good last year. Look at the toy Santa left us. Forward push! <laughs> Toys, ahoy! Ho, ho! Uh, no! Whoa! Stop the help! I mean, good job, reindeer. Santa's elves commend you. Santa's elves! We'll help Santa, sir. <laughs> right, fellas? Come on, hurry it up! Move it! Woo, Santa's got some tough elves working for him. Look there! It's the Periwonks! Cookie, Wally, Mollstaff! Are we glad to see hey, you? Good Merry Christmas. Christmas! Listen, you've got to help us. Because we're helping Santa's elves try to find his stolen toys and his... And these guys are imposters. Trust me, we know. We just helped the real elves load Santa's lost toys. And they didn't look anything like these two. We even loaded them into Santa's own sleigh. We're the real elves. Oh, no. But you saw the direction the other elves... I, I mean, the imposters went in, right? They went that away! Listen, we'll explain it all later. But right now, we need your treasure finder. Fast! You got it, Raggedy Ann. <laughs> One treasure finder at your service. Thanks, Ballstaff.
My friends and I love our Radio Shack radio-controlled cars. Watch out! Here comes Buster! My 4x4 off-roaders big tires hit a lots of bumps to get me out of here quick. And look at my turbo racer run for cover! Pulling my high-speed turbo Lamborghini corner, I'm out of sight in no time. Oh, he always finds us. Buster loves to chase cars. Radio Shack's Radio Control Turbo Lamborghini 4x4 Off-Roader and Turbo Racer. Batteries not included. Radio Control toys each sold separately. Only at Radio Shack. Hey, you can look at the water or brave the rapids. Oh, no, Tony. We'll catch up after this complete breakfast, including my vitamin pack Frosted Flakes. They bring out the tiger in you. Good, you'll need it. <laughs> Frosted Flakes, good. They're good. Right. You're so under the tiger. <laughs> Push em, you can mush them, you can push them, you can squish them, you can't stop. Swoosh. Trade a smushies with a friend, the surprises never end, you can't stop. Swoosh. It's a swishy sensation and it's sweeping the nation, you can't stop. Swoosh. Everybody smush. Everybody smush. Your smushies are. Mushies sold separately from Fisher Price. And back to our adventure. I managed to steal all Santa's toys and take care of those meddlesome raggedies at the same time. <laughs> Hurry up and finish loading those toys. Let's go. Everybody okay? But where's Singe? Over there! Singe! Don't worry, I'm okay. More trouble! Oh no, not again! Oh, this is terrible! Well, if it's crackling, I'm not afraid! Oh, oh are you all right? We rushed here as soon as we heard the trouble. Can you help Singe? Of course. Oh, thank you, Pixley. We'll make a sling and take him back with us. With a little rest, he'll be just fine. Terrific! Get Together, Singe! Singe. Yeah, we'll we'll be in the Gremlin! You've got to thank Christmas! You've just got to! You bet we will, with the treasure finder. But how are we going to travel now? On behalf of His Majesty, I'd like to present you all with a gift. The hay cart! You can use it to track down that evil Cracklin and the toys. <laughs> Cracklin and Christmas, here we come. But Mr. Scamp, on the subject of Christmas... By any chance, did you... Yes, yes, yes. Santa's got your gift list for King Luke. All 400 pages. Oh, thank you. And good luck. Now come on, Camel. Let her rip. Balls, trucks, dolls. Yeah. Uh oh. Ah. Yeah. Well, pick that up. Yes, sir. Santa's toys inside of my castle now! Uh, uh, <laughs> right, Mr. Cracklin, sir. No!
find her, find those toys. I've never seen so many toys. <laughs> what that creep deserves is a lump of coal in his stocking. Shh! Look, we've got to keep crackling away from those toys long enough to load them onto the hay cart. Sounds great. How are we gonna do that? With a little visit from Santa Claus. Tick, tack, are you sure these are <laughs> your shirt? All the toys? Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Santa Claus, here? Merry Christmas, Tick and Tap! Merry Christmas, Santa! Santa, what a pleasure! You got my letter, didn't you? Ho, oh, ho, of course, Cracklin! Well, if you don't mind, uh, I forgot a few things on my Christmas list. No, no! Go on, take as much time as you need! Eye of Newt, Vile of Frog Sweat, Bat Wings, and a shiny new cauldron. Well, ahem, have you been naughty or nice this year? Well, I've mistreated Nabbits, wilted water sprites, ruined raggedies. I've been very, very naughty. Isn't that nice? Now for the rest of the list. Hair of a dog. Ho, ho, ho! Boy, I could really use some milk and cookies. And then, of course, I'll listen to the rest of your list. Certainly, Santa. Tick, tick, to the kitchen. Santa wants a snack. Right away, Kraken. Anything for Santa. Now, Santa, the rest of my list is very important. Santa, I... Raggedies! Tick, tack, get them! Run for it! <laughs> Let's get out of here! Get away! How dare you break into my castle! I'll show you! Oh, <laughs> 
comes with a Beach Boys record for you. Surf and shop and dolls all sold separately from Mattel. We're in the Muppet Test Kitchen where the Swedish chef is making his delicious star-shaped cereal, New Crunchy Stars. Mmm, makes more munchy. Only the Swedish chef could create the cinnamon toast taste of Crunchy Stars. Mm, yeah, scrumptious. Scrumptious Crunchy Stars, part of this nutritious breakfast. Crunchy Stars, great taste from Post and the Swedish chef. Mmm, scrumptious. And back to our adventure. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the part of this complete breakfast that goes... <laughs> Kellogg's Rice Krispies, have you heard how good they are?
messages. Our show will be right back. Have you heard the latest word? Fashion softly. Horses and fashion sold separately. Joelle's going to be beautiful. Her outfit's so fancy. Here's a lacy garter. I love her wedding dress. Chloe's flashy in her evening gown. She's hot tonight. There, her hair is perfect. These pretty fillies look so right. They'll be fashion stars tonight. Fabulous. Fashion star fillies. Fashion star fillies. Five star wedding gown and star lace evening gown sold separately. You can start your day. Kellogg's Honey Smacks way. Whoa, well, Honey Smacks is sweet. You'll be hopping down the street. Hopping on your hands. Hopping on your feet. You'll be hopping. We dig them like that. We dig them like that. We dig them on a spoon. That's a matter of fact. You'll be hopping. Yeah, you'll be hopping. So you can take the bus or hop like us. Make a snack a part of your complete breakfast. Sweet taste and honey smacks. You'll be hopping. Out of the way, man, before our faces know we're done. What is this? We want that tang fruit box now. I'm getting orange. I'm getting gray. Get out of here! Penguin, the taste your mouth can't wait for. Give me the more. Here we come, man. What is this? We want those free mouth stickers from Tang now. I'm getting this one. I'm getting this one. I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> you can get one of five mouth stickers free in specially marked packages of Tang drink. All right. We now return to our show. I better see what that cub's up to now. What's going on, son? I'm learning karate. Watch. Look out for the stairs. Well, now, Kissy Fur, you don't know your own strength. Wow, wait till I show the guy. Yeah! <laughs> Cute little cub. Didn't have the heart to tell him the door was broken. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hi, Kissy Fur. Wanna play? No, thanks, Toot. I might hurt somebody. I'm learning karate, you know. Karate? What kind of dumb thing is that? I'll show you. Hee ya! Cha cha cha! Golly, Kissy Fur, that's amazing. Oh, it's nothing when you know how. Hey! Hey! Big deal. Yeah. Where's my breakfast, boy? Coming right up, Jolene. <laughs> I feel lucky today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> right there. Not a bad setup, creeps. Yeah, and it's our setup. So take a hike, first face. This swamp ain't big enough for the three of us. You got it right, sister. Whoa! It's my stuff! Don't you ever touch my stuff, lizard lips! What did you say, Beulah Breath? Nothing. Gator! 
Listen up, folks. We're gonna have to stick together. Now, Kissifer says he's about this big. No, Dad. This big. No, remember him this big. <laughs> well, guess it's just the five of us. Make that four. Our program will be back after these messages. When I grow up, I want to be a toy maker. The best thing about what I do is being able to make all the toys they never made for me when I was a kid. I get up in the morning and I ask myself, if I were a kid, what would I like to play with? And I go to the people who work with me and we make the toys. But being a toy manufacturer isn't all fun and games. Hmm? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division are things that we have to use all day long just like this. Oh, and fractions are also important. Art and science are also important because to be able to create a toy, you have to be able to imagine it in three dimensions. But recreate it in two dimensions, like this. If you think that someday you'd like to create toys, then study hard now. Because everything you're learning in school will help you make your toys. Sponsored by McDonald's, we hope you'll always keep reaching for your dream. Introducing Pocket Rockers, Tiny Tapes, Tiny Players. Down on the corner, out in the street, Pocket Rockers are playing, where the music feels the beat. Pocket Rockers, play them here, wear them anywhere. Down on the corner, out in the street, Pocket Rockers are playing, where the music feels the beat. Tiny players, tiny tapes, pocket rockers, tapes and accessories sold separately, batteries not included, from Fisher Price. Hurry up, Mike, we want to go to McDonald's. Okay, wait a minute, I'm running to this football game. That made me hungry. You guys coming? I'm McDonald's. We now return to our program. Big Louie, we're going to teach you to lose, boss. Ah, shut up! You bet, Big Louie, when you say shut up, we shut up! Don't need to tell us twice, Big Louie. No, sir, ain't. Shut up, Big Louie. Big Louie, shut up. Lord, we ain't going to say another thing. No, sir, my tongue is tied. See? And let's keep it that way, here. Uh, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you got 
one last chance to beat it, Bear. So beat it! Nope. Kinda like it here. Whoa! Stop! Don't worry, Dad, I'll show him! <laughs> Big bully. Oh, you're so right, Miss Emmy. Especially about the big part. You okay, son? Yeah, Dad. But what went wrong? Well, sometimes problems are too big to handle all alone. Now move back there with the others. But Dad. Go on, son. You all heard Gus. Are we going to help him or not? Oh, even little Kissy Fur was willing to help. So what are we, a bunch of chickens? <laughs> I beg your pardon. So, now it's just the two of us, eh, Fuzzface? Looks that way. Not quite. Suit yourself, clowns. The more, the merrier. Hey, you keep it! Okay, Kissy Fur. Ready for old circus trick number three? Where'd you go, Fleabag? There he is, Louie! Oh! 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 Is everyone okay? Hey, look at that funny face. What are you clowns laughing at? <laughs> Nobody laughs at Big Louie. Nobody! You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> no! Stop! I'm a tough guy, remember? No! No! can take a joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow! Wow! Thanks, everybody. We did it. Yeah! Sorry my karate didn't work, Dad. Doesn't matter, little bear. Everyone here is a hero. Ready for your hike, huh? You know it, Dad. It's gonna be the greatest. I can't wait. I can wait. Uh, uh. Oh. oh! What do you have in there, Tube? Only a sandwich. Come on! Let's hit the dumb trail already! 
you be real careful, you hear? Yeah, yeah we will. Bye. 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 And be home before dark. What's that? Humans. Coming this way. Everybody inside. I've never seen a human before. Okay, that settles it. Nobody goes hiking as long as humans are in the swamp. Oh, please, oh, come on, please. please. Come on, we want to go already. Long huh? time, you know. No, it's uh, like uh, too dangerous. But we've been planning this hike for a month, Dad. Please, please, we'll be real careful. I promise, honest. Yeah, yes, we, we promise, promise already. And then we get across our hearts really... and like that. Well, I don't well, know. What do you, you think know, we should do? Yes, I'm not really sure. Well, only on one condition. The second you see hide or hair of a human, come straight home. Promise? Promise. Anywheres. Now it is. <laughs> Let's dig in. <gasps> Don't play with your food, Floyd. If you're not hungry, I am. Ow! <laughs> this isn't food. This is trouble. Big trouble. You and your dumb idea. Oh! Ah. Look! What is it? I don't know, but it sure is heavy. Whatever it is, I got five steps. Gosh, it's a human cub. Poor thing. All its fur fell out. Oh, no. We better go. We promised to stay 
far away from a human. But it's so cute. I think but... it's dumb. I think it's trouble. If we bring it home, we're in big trouble. If we leave it here, it's in big trouble. Then there's only one thing to do. Find its parents. for the baby. Something happens to those cubs. It's your fault, Cuss. I mean, I knew you shouldn't have let them go. Well, standing around arguing sure won't help. We have to go find them. Just what I was about to do, Miss Emmy. Anybody want to join me? I'm tired. I'm miserable. I'm... Oh, quit your crying, Floyd. It wasn't me. Can't you keep that dumb baby quiet? Shh! You're making more noise than the baby is, Lenny. Yeah, Lenny. Gotcha! This little cub back where it belongs. Fast. What's the matter, Kissy Fur? I don't know, Dad. 
I guess it's because we worked so hard taking care of the baby. I just wish a human could have said thank you. Don't worry about it, little bear. The best thanks of all is the feeling you have inside when you know you did right. And you did right. Right? Right. <laughs> After these messages, our show will be right back. We were telling ghost stories in the Fun Fruits jungle. The coffin opened and the skeletons scared the alien! The skeleton! Ah! And that's how we discovered new Fun Fruits spooky fruit with skulls, ghosts, and monsters. And Fun Fruits space shapes with aliens, astronauts, and Spaceships, new fruit snacks from Sunkissed Fun Foods. Give me five. New Fun Foods Space Shapes and Spooky Food. A Whopper, a shake, you can make what Burger King makes. Play-Doh presents the Burger King Whopper playset from Play-Doh. You can start with a burger on the top of a bun and press out some pickles. This is fun. Lettuce and tomatoes piled up high and lots of onion rings to the sky. Feel like some fries, crispy dough. Put in the Play-Doh. Here they come. How about a treat? It's easy to make. In goes the Play-Doh. Out comes the shake. Mmm, a Whopper. The Burger King Whopper playset from Play-Doh comes with everything you see here from Kenner. We now return to our show. Complete breakfast. Corn pops popping, popping in my head. Pops. Good time. You got the rhythm, so we use it. Great taste. Such a good time, some music. Good time. Great taste. Getting into a rhythm of all ways. A good time, great taste. Oh, McDonald's. McDonald's presents Holiday Huggable Muppet Babies. Did someone mention a hug? There's Baby Kermit, Baby Fozzie, or Baby Piggy. Soft and huggable in yours for a special price with any McDonald's food purchase. You can collect all three. Muppet Babies! They're so cute. Hey! Non-stop fun! Saturday rocks! Is everything all right in here? Yes, yes Mommy. Searching for fun fruit trees, and boy were we surprised! We saw Sunkist fun fruits change their shape by doing exercise. They changed to letters, numbers, and animal shapes. Sunkist fun fruits, letters, numbers, and animals are made with real fruit, so they're real fun to eat. Let curse numbers. Sunkist fun fruits, letters, numbers, animals. 
Bill's Rice Krispies sounded great. Until... Hush! Hush! They stopped talking. Hey! Bring back Snap, Crackle, and Pop! Hush! Put him down! Snap to it! Snap? Yeah! Snap! What? what? Ah! And so... Snap, Crackle, and Pop! <laughs> the talking part of this complete breakfast returned. Rice Krispies! Breakfast doesn't sound good without it. Give me an X! X! Give me an O! O! Give me two! Sexes and nose makes me feel so hungry for my tic tac toes. They're so tasty. Chef boy, are these? Tic 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 tac toes. Tic tac toes, a good hot meal. And when you get three X's or O's on your spoon, you win. Thank goodness for Chef boy, are these? Tic 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 tac toes. With and without meatballs. <laughs> to sit down and have some lunch with us. Okay. Ooh. Ow! <laughs> Here, Maverick. Let me help you. Thanks, Nick. Uh, ma'am? Sounds pretty good here, Maverick. Probably better than back at the base. Back at the base? Yeah, sure. Maverick here is an ace test pilot. 
I'm afraid, Captain Gonzo. You and Maverick should be more careful. Now, why don't you other kids go back to the nursery and let Gonzo and Maverick finish? Okay, Annie. Nice flying, Mav. Uh, oh, thanks, Rolf. Hot dog, Rolf. Hey, what did I tell you, pal? You were a hit. Gee, Gonzo, I don't think this Maverick guy is really me. He's not. So normal, huh? Well, everything all right, Maverick? Uh... Great, Nanny, just great! Come on, Mav! This is called the decorative chair cover. <laughs> What you need is a complete breakfast, including my vitamin pack Frosted Flakes. They bring out the tiger in you. Come on, kid. Let's see if you're any good. <laughs> Frosted Flakes, good. They're good. Show them you're a tiger. Show them what you can do. The taste of Tony's Frosted Flakes. Show tiger what you can do. Present the tiger, tiger And you. I know I should drink milk. Because it'll help me grow up big and strong. Milk's got stuff that's good for my bones and stuff that's good for my muscles. And I guess that's okay. But I'm more interested in having fun. That's 
what makes milk so neat. You can drink a lot of it, and it tastes cool. So it can be a real pick-me-up. No, it does the body good. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. It wasn't easy getting even more delicious chocolate into something as rich in chocolate as a Three Musketeers bar. Fortunately, it's a lot easier to get all that extra chocolate out of it. Ta da! Oh, two cans? Would have made the shot if I hadn't practiced through breakfast. Ah, then fruit flavor should be your aim. Follow my nose. It's a fast break. Kellogg's Fruit Loop Cereal with natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavor. And lots of vitamin C, part of this complete breakfast. Have some. Oh, boy. It's a slam. No. You can. Play ball. Be a smash. Or a happy cat. Stretch out. Awesome. Free Jeffrey Putty from Toys R Us with coupon on Fruit Loops. The Peanuts gang is getting personal with past presidents and their portraits. All these guys paint by numbers. It's an all-new This Is America, Charlie Brown, Wednesday at 8.30. I might have missed. That wasn't fun, Gonzo. I don't like being laughed at. Ah, you don't, huh? Ah, okay. Back to the old coloring book. Can you sing? Uh, I don't think so. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> 
Cushion. No, I haven't, Fozzie. But I'm sure it's here. Oh, gee. Now you kids try to be a little quieter, okay? Yes, So, uh, how'd you like John Bon? Tough, man. He was neat old Kino. A lot like Scooter. Yeah. I miss Scooter. be a rock and roll star, Gonzo. It's uh, too noisy. Yeah! Don't you love it? Uh-uh. It hurts my ears. Whoops. Uh, I wonder where it is. Still haven't found your whoopee cushion, huh, Fuzzy? Nope. What I need is x-ray vision. Really? Scooter, let me in. I think I got it. I think this is a job for Super Scooter. It is? Oh, boy. Who's that? Don't ask. You mean you haven't heard of Super Scooter? More powerful than an industrial vacuum cleaner. Oh, boy. Able to leap tall chihuahuas in a single bound. What? Well, it's all right here. The Adventures of Super Scooter and the Taste of the Missing Whoopee Cushion. Huh? Where? Gee, I, I guess I'm a policeman. And I'm a job reporter. And he must be... Yeah, who am I? You're Clark Scooter, ace reporter. A reporter? But I thought... Don't worry, Scoo... Uh, uh, Clark. Now somebody get the phone. What, what phone? phone? Oh, yeah. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Uh, Gonzo, the phone is just a drawing. I can't answer it. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, try that. Sheesh. Hello? Captain Kermit, my whoopee cushion is missing. If I don't get it back, my whole career as a comic is ruined. Don't worry, Fozzie. I'll be right over. What's up, Captain Kermit? Um, missing whoopee cushion. Uptown. Sounds like a big story. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Gonzo, the door won't open. Sorry, just walk to the next panel. No, oh, this is ridiculous. Clark, you stay. But I want to go with them. You can't. You have to stay. Keep moving. You're not there yet. Sorry, Fuzzy. I guess we're not here yet. Ah! Oh, no. oh, it's just a drawing, Piggy. Time for action. Into the closet, quick. Not another closet. To change. It's time for Super Scooter. Gonzo. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. I better get the window, too. Animal, you don't belong in this story. What? Taro. Gonzo, this looks stupid too. Stupid? You look magnificent. Yeah, that's it. Now get going. Not that way. The window. The window? No way. Ahem. The window. Okay, okay. Here goes. Yeah! 
Sometimes even superheroes need a little help. Now, uh, let's see. It's <laughs> about time you showed up. I thought we were going to walk for just a few more steps. Next panel. <laughs> Phew, that's a long walk. Hey, I just left here. Why? This is confusing. Let me guess. You haven't found your whoopee cushion yet. Nope. And this is where you last saw it. Yep. And I've looked everywhere. Well, I say this is a hopeless case. You can't get under, over, or behind anything. It's all a dumb comic book. Does this mean my career is over? What a wonderful thought. No, Mozzie. Look up at the ceiling. It's Super Scooter. <laughs> Gonzo, this just isn't working. You can say that again. Hold it, Super Scooter, the whoopee cushion. Remember, Boss is counting on you. What can I do if I'm just flying around in some superhero's underwear? Now, if I had my computer like real policemen... How about this one, Super Scooter? Maybe. That's it. No more comics, no more stupid outfits, no more scuba shooter, but pooper scooper or super scooter. I quit. But what about my whoopee cushion? Can't you find it, Scooter? Please? Okay, Fozzie, I'll try. Where's my computer? Here it is, Scooter. Boy, this feels great. Okay, okay. Now my whoopee cushion. Right. Where'd you last see it? When Scooter Rooney sat on it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> he was a jerk. Okay, let's see. The whoopee cushion. And it weighed um, about six feet per holiday. And it's over. Uh-huh. Isn't it great to have good old Scooter back? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's no wind factor. Minus given the Earth's rotation. And I'm left-handed. Uh-huh. Okay. And this should give us our answer. Well, according to my calculations, Fozzie, your whoopee cushion should be right over there. Oh, boy! Here, Whoopi Cushion! Gee, it still is in here, Scooter. Huh? Uh, but I know I'm right. I don't see it. Yeah, yeah, it's here. not here. No? I just know it's here. Huh? My Whoopi Cushion! See? I know it! It must have landed in there when scooter Rooney threw it. And Scooter found it! Yay! Yay! What's all the cheering about, kids? Scooter's back! And he found my whoopee cushion! He did? Well, isn't that wonderful? It's nice to have you back, Scooter. Everybody missed you. We are yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. Yeah. And I'm glad to be back. I'll bet you are. So what are you kids going to do the rest of the afternoon? Well, now that Scooter's found our ball, how about another game of whoopee cushion? Yeah! And, uh, maybe you'd like to play on my team, Piggy, my sweet. Piggy? Are you speaking to moi? Huh? Well, uh, I, uh, I'm sorry. I thought you said Piggy. I did. You are Piggy, aren't you? Moi? No way. My name is Cleopatra. Cleopatra? Of the Nile? Perhaps you've heard of me? Huh?
happy. Love. Of. Any. Cake. Good to eat. Strawberry flavored. A juicy sweet. Twizzler. For her party. <laughs> they smell like cherries. So does Cherry Mary Muffin. Sit down, Betty Berry. You too, Chocolaty. A party with muffins. Cherry Mary Muffin. She looks sweet <laughs> and looks sweet and smells sweet too. Cherry Mary Muffin doll, her sweet smelling friends, and her kitchen fun play sets each sold separately. New from Mattel. The Kool Aid Wacky Warehouse has returned with great new stuff. Sports gear! Where we'll very happily equip you wackily. And you can taste our prehysterical new Kool-Aid flavor purple source Rex in the wackiest store in the world. When you're on the go, here's a great way to carry all your wacky stuff. The new wacky belt pack from Kool-Aid. This and lots of other stuff can be yours from Kool-Aid soft drinks. When you save the Kool-Aid points from any package, catalogs and order forms are available in boxes of these post cereals. Muppet Babies will return. Here This is CBS. Weeknights at 7 on Channel 3, it's an hour of family fun. Let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Ray Coates. Then at 7.30... It's the game that everybody's playing. It's win, lose, or draw. An hour of family fun weeknight starting at 7 right here on West Michigan's Channel 3. The Tigers take on the Rangers Sunday at 1 on Channel 3. Back to Mom and Baby. It's the Leave It to Piggy that I love who knows best show. Cool. a joke. What did the rug say to the floor? Give up? You're covered with me. Hey! Quiet, Fuzzy. I'm trying to watch. and I kind of accidentally uh, blew up the garage. What? Mom! I just have to have a new pair of running shoes for the senior homecoming track meet. Oh, please, Mom, please, please, please put sugar on it. You blew it up! No, Mom, you don't blow up shoes. Not the shoes, the garage! Not the whole garage, Mom. How much? About 1995. Not the vacuum, the garage! All but two feet. Two feet? Mom, two feet, two shoes. Not shoes, feet. Garage feet. Garages have feet. Please, please. It was just a little explosion. No! I really gotta go. Please, Mom, the shoes. I've got places to go, people to see, vacuums to sell. It was an accident. No! Father will know 
This week. Huh? Robin? I don't remember anyone named Robin on this show. You know, my little nephew Robin, the tadpole. Oh, yeah, Robin. Oh, Kermit, you can't go. What will I do? There's no one else who can play father like you. I'm sorry, Piggy, but I got to. wife ever in the whole world? I'm home! Now this guy a girl could learn to like! Hi, kids! Hi, Hi Nanny. Nanny! Are you about ready, Kermit? In a minute, Nanny! I'm just packing a few of my favorite toys! Now remember, kids, we're not going to make a fuss about Kermit going away. We're not? Of course not! If Kermit knew how much we're going to miss him, he might not want to go at all! Right! So everyone put on your very best smiles, okay? Okay, Nanny! All right, everybody, you heard what Nanny said. We all have to be brave and strong and... 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 What? Oh, gee, um, thanks, Piggy. Way to go, Piggy. You almost blew it. Yeah, we're supposed to make it easy for Kermit to leave, remember? Well... Hey, I know how to make it real easy for Kermit to leave. Watch! Huh? Hey, Kermit! Uh, uh, yeah, Fuzzy? Don't worry about leaving us. We're probably not gonna miss you at all. You're not? Uh-uh. In fact, you could stay for two weeks if you really wanted to. Well, uh, gee, thanks, Fuzzy. You could even stay a whole year if you were having a really good time. Hey, maybe you shouldn't come back at all. Huh? Yeah, that's a great idea. I'll go tell the others. Hmm, did I miss something? Hey, everybody, I made Kermit feel so good about leaving, he'll probably never come back at all. What? <laughs> What's the matter? Did I say something wrong? You said that Kermit is never, ever coming back! I did? Uh-huh. Oh, no, this is terrible! I'll say! Kermit is helping me build this rocket to fly to the planet Ognos! And, and we designed this really cool hood ornament and everything! But if Kermit's not here to help me... Oh, hey, we'll put out the light! Piggy, Piggy, Piggy. Yes, Rolf? Will you take Kermit and promise to love him tenderly, love him truly, never let him get away? Oh, yes, yes, yes! Uh, a simple I do would be fine. Oh, I do! Kermit? Yeah? If right now or never I'll cause you all right, Kermit. Okay, okay, I do. Good. Well, she's falling in love with you. Hummer, hummer, hummer. Sheesh. All right, now you can kiss the bride. Mm -hmm. But if my Kermit wasn't there... Should I or shouldn't I? Here. <laughs> Kermit, I'm waiting. I shouldn't, but I'm gonna. There! Huh? 
from me. Hi, kids. What's going on? Oh, um, uh, I just wanted Gonzo to smell my pretty flowers. Ah, uh, plastic. My favorite smell. <laughs> That's nice, Piggy. Hermit, I'll take your bags out to the front room and I'll call you when the taxi gets here. Okay, Nanny. Thanks. Oh, my, these are heavy. You'd think you were never coming back, Kermit. What did she say? Never coming back? That's what I thought she said. You see? Even Nanny knows Kermit's not coming back. What are we gonna do? Well, we have to make him want to come back. How do we do that? I have an idea. Thanks, Fozzie, but we need an idea that'll work. Oh, never mind. How about a mushy card? Or a singing telegram? Oh, yes! <laughs> to Kermit the Frog From Rolfie the Dog And Scooter and Skeeter And Whoa. Piggy the Hog What? I said Piggy the Hog oh. Um, never mind Listen, what we need is something big You mean like a poster? Nah, that's chicken feed How about a billboard? Small potatoes Balloon! Yeah! Now you're talking! Well, we'll give him a balloon like he's never seen before! <laughs> what are you doing, Gondo? <laughs> Blowing up the balloon! No, you're not! Balloon! Balloon! Hey, I've got an idea. Listen to this. Hey, guys! Shh! Gonzo, what's going on? Quiet, Kermit. We're talking about you never coming back. Never coming back? Why does everyone keep saying that? Of course I'm coming back. What if I didn't come back? I wonder what it would be like out there all alone, without my friends. I guess I'd sort of be Kermit the Hermit. Hey, this isn't so bad. The great outdoors. A campfire. Hmm. Frogs never were very good at toasting marshmallows. Gosh, it gets dark awfully quick around here, doesn't it? Wow, listen to the chirping crickets. And the hooting owl. And the howling wolf. Howling wolf? Boy. Not this baby will return after these messages. Ronald McDonald in Red Shoe Review. Good time. Great taste. That's why this is our place. After you. The good time, great taste of McDonald's. Good time. Jump in. Good time. Great taste. This trip's a breeze thanks to my super golden crisp cereal, riding high with 10 vitamins and minerals, and the honey sweet pot of this nutritious breakfast. Breakfast? Something shady going on here. Yeah, and my bitch digs your honey sweet wheat sugar bear. Dig this bird brain. All you're getting is a vitamin packed punch. It looks like this turkey's goose is cooked. Can't get enough of super golden crisp. It's got the crunch with punch. Yeah. Our mission is clear. To finally bite a chips Lloyd cookie without biting a chip. Let's try the northern approach. Impossible! What about the southern route? No way. Nope. Our only chance is right here. 
Synchronize cookies. Bite. Not again. Well, the feet never tasted so sweet. Chips Ahoy cookies. Bet you bite a chip. Hey, want to try again tomorrow? You bet. Let's go. What was it like to be a kid back in the old days? You'll get used to it. It's a wet and wild adventure for young and old alike. Bang. Paradise, tonight at 8. Lisa, you're a beautiful girl. Is Dad planning a love-in with the live-in? Don't look, man. This is an X-rated dinner. Mom! You little foreign floozy. Monday! isn't all it's cracked up to be. And I think this is one of those times. Hermit huh? T-Frog, here is your life. What? Hermit, we've invited you to our television studio to... But we're not in the television studio, Ralph. We're in the nursery. We are? Hey, animal. Huh? Oopsie. Sorry. Wow! So, anyway, as I was saying, Kermit, all your good buddies want to show you what a really swell frog we think you are and why we want you to come back after your visit. But, Ralph, I am coming back. So, Kermit T. Frog, here is your life. Kermit T. Frog was born one rainy day in India. What? But Kermit didn't mind the rain at all. Whee! Yippee! Raised by wolves in the wild bat country of Illinois, huh? little Kermit always got along well with his fellow cubs. Cubs? I do? Next, Kermit was elected Emperor of California, um. where he ruled with kindness and made sure there was plenty of ice cream for everyone. And... <clears throat> Rolf? Uh, yeah, Kermit? None of that stuff ever happened to me. Didn't? Nope. Hey, who made this book anyway? We did! <laughs> that explains it. Sheesh. Well, so much for the past. <laughs> Let's take a look at what the future would be if you didn't come back. But Rolf, I am. And here to tell the future is our resident fortune teller, the Wizard of Nerd. Animal, you're gonna drop my ball. Gee, I guess he really can tell the future. That was my last crystal ball. Now what am I supposed to use? Quick ball. This'll never work. Just try it, okay, Scooter? Well, okay. The future's here for one and all. When I look into my crystal football. Tell us where we all will be if Hermit leaves us. Yes, siree. But Scooter. Shh. I'm getting something. Come on. I knew it wouldn't work. Try again. Okay. Oh, magic ball that holds the future. Show us Rolf, our favorite pooch here. Hey, Rolf, look. That looks like me. Cool. And you're playing the piano, just like you always wanted. Well, sort of. You see, without you there to cheer him on, Kermit, Rolf stopped practicing. He did? But I wouldn't. And he never got any further than playing elevator music. Excuse me, oh, pardon me. Oh. I beg your pardon. Excuse me, could you get that for me? Sure, Mac. What a bummer. Sorry, Rolf. But like I was saying... Who else do you see there, Scooter? I see big trouble in the very near future. Hey, that's our football! Dog pile on the kid with the glasses! Okay, guys, the last one on the field is a rotten egg. Right now. Right now. So, anyway, Kermit, the past is past and the future is, um, futured. But what about today? Let's hear from two of the loveliest girls in the nursery, your dear friends, Skeeter and...
Piggy. Ahem, that's Piggy and Skeeter. Right. Take it away, girls. <laughs> this is a song that I, I mean, that we wrote for you, Carla. You like it. He's my hero, yes, indeed. He's my everything. Me? He's my favorite shade of green. Well, he's the cutest guy I've ever seen. Gosh. I feed him cookies and milk so to make him feel like a king. You would? I bake him a great big cake. Oh, yeah. And watch him eat the whole thing. The whole thing? He's my hero, yes, indeed. The only frog I'll ever need. Good. He does his strike so gracefully. And you? Every move is poetry. Yeah. I clean his room for him. Everything in its place. Uh -oh. Yeah, well, I even brush his teeth just to see that smile on his face. But I don't have any teeth. Uh -oh. He's my hero, yes, indeed. He's my everything. No, oh, he. He's my favorite shade of green. The cutest guy I've ever seen. Your hero. Hero. Frog. Ah! Oh, hey. Here's a voice you might recognize, Kermit. Listen to this. If Kermit never comes back, the sun won't shine, the moon won't rise, and peanut butter won't stick to the roof of your mouth. Hey, it's Gonzo. Good guess, Kermit. Gee, Gonzo, that was really nice of you to say, but I am coming back. Wait a minute, Kermit. It's not as simple as that. Never is with Gonzo. Look. When the sun stops shining, the temperature of the earth will begin to drop. And, and the wind will start to blow. But, Gonzo, I'm not really... Wait! That's only the start! Animal! Bug! A mess! Blah, 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 blah. And after the wind starts to blow, the cows won't come home. Monkeys will munch up mush. <laughs> and alligators will become orthodontists. What? Brother. Not only that, but bubbles will grow out of cheeseburgers. Wars will break out. Men will go bald. Brussels sprouts will take over the world. Pretty exciting stuff, huh? Is that it? No. Paper will flow like rivers. Square dancers will run rampant in the streets. And... Lady will finally sing! And then elephants will run the malt shops! Uh, Gonzo! There'll be a candy bar shortage! Gonzo! Crosby will be cancelled! <laughs> Marsh Piggy, what did you do that for? Um, hey, well, gee, I was, um, just saving you the trouble, Kenny. <laughs> Gonzo, uh, I really don't think all of that stuff would happen just because I left the nursery. You don't? Uh -uh. Not even the part about the Brussels sprouts? Nope. Oh, well, back to the drawing board. Clean up. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, Gonzo. Now, Kermit, we have one last voice for you today. Do you recognize this one? Knock, knock. Hmm. Uh, who's there? The bear. Oh, boy. Um, the bear who? The very funny fuzzy bear! Waka waka! Whoa, please come and please come back, please! Huh? I know it's all my fault. Well, I don't know why it's my fault, but they said it was. Right, it's your fault! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your fault, Fuzzy? That you're never coming back to the nursery because I told you not to come back. But I didn't mean that you shouldn't come back. I just wanted you not to worry about coming back if you came back. Or, or no, wait, was it? Uh... But Fuzzy, I am coming back. 
You are? Sure. That's what I've been trying to tell you all along. You mean we made this whole show for you for nothing? No, Rolf. You guys made me feel great. I'll never forget it. Gosh, thanks a lot. Um, uh, well, the whole thing was my idea, Kermy. No, sir, Piggy, it was my idea. I beg to differ with you, but the idea was all mine. Hey, I was the one who told him to go away and never come back. Sheesh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, guys, everybody, it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't... Uh, uh, gosh, I think this is starting to get out of hand. Loose pop, loose pop. Thanks, animal. Welcome. Listen, you guys, I don't care whose idea it was. I think you all are pretty special. And, and you're definitely coming back to the nursery after your visit? Of course I am. <laughs> Come on, Kermit. Time to go. The taxi's here. I'm ready, Nanny. He needs an attitude adjustment. Honey Smacks will sweeten him up. Oh. Ooh, how sweet it is. You can make Kellogg's Honey Smacks part of your complete breakfast. How sweet it is. Here's a little financial tip. You can get a coupon for a free Dairy Queen Sunday on the back of Honey Smacks. Because if you're anything like me, you could always use a little cold cash. Robocop. Part man, part robot. All cop. Drop it. Robocop and the Ultra Police, each sold separately. The only cops with rapid repeat cap firing. Evil headhunter on a skullhawk is cruising for trouble. Robocop and his armored Robo One will chase him down. This will stop you? Oh yeah, nothing can stop Robocop. You put Robo One together. Robocop vehicles and figures with Robocaps, each sold separately. Hey, kids. It's my favorite show that I'm not in. Pee-wee's Playhouse. Coming up next. Garfield says if I'm awake, it must be fun. All set, Kermit? Sure am, Nanny. I packed my toothbrush and everything. Okay, then. Have a nice trip. 
Thanks, Mammy. Okay. Huh? Oh, bye-bye. The animals, you can Oh, toucan. Will have made the shot if I hadn't practiced through breakfast. Ah, then fruit flavor should be your aim. Follow my nose. It's a fast break. Kellogg's Fruit Loop Cereal with natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavor. And lots of vitamin C, part of this complete breakfast. Have some. Oh, boy. It's a slam dunk. You can play ball. Be a smash or a happy cat. Stretch out. Awesome. Free Jeffrey Buddy from Toys R Us with coupon on Fruit Loops. Bum, 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 bum. It wasn't easy getting even more delicious chocolate into something as rich in chocolate as a Three Musketeers bar. Fortunately, it's a lot easier to get all that extra chocolate out of it. Ta-da! This is CBS. Hello, Blue Jay. How are you? Blue Jay. Hello, Sparrow. What's new? Howdy, Robin. Nice day, isn't it? <laughs> the McDonald's Happy Meal, uh, guys. What are you doing? Practicing, practicing our bird calls. Bird calls. <laughs> <laughs> when you buy McDonald's Happy Meal, you get a neat garden tool. You're all really cool. There's a shovel, a pot to plant seeds, sprinkle on water, and rake away the leaves. One each week, four in all. You can have a ball. Little Gardener Happy Meal at McDonald's. And the fun tan started, I'd laugh until I cry. He's dynamite in those four ply diapers. He's my kind of guy. Well, there goes Max on a big time mission. Will he lose or win? Yes, it all depends on the four ply diaper. And that's safe to kill. He's tops. I mean terrific. I don't know another word that says it's so specific. Our program will be back after these messages. Oh, bother. Empty. <laughs> Not for long, buddy bear. Look, it's a honeybee. And where there's a bee, there's honey. Get set to do your honey with the taste of golden honey. It's a honey all in all. It's a tasty part of this nutritious breakfast. It's honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> Oh, there must be an easier way to put honey in a tummy. It's Honey Nut Cheerios. The greatest battle in the history of the universe is about to begin. The Rulons! They're about to attack! Quickly, we'll have to trap them in the canyon. The Demetrodons are harmless. Leave them be. The clever Dino Riders seal off the escape route. It's up to you, Commandos. Now! Leaping into the path of the thundering giants, the Commandos close off the front of the pass. Blast them to bits, Batman. Put this in your Easter basket, Krulos. Don't forget to ride home, Rulons! The Dino Riders put on the finishing touches. But Krulos escapes on Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look out! Sky! The Stegosaurus! Take this, lizard lips. I'll be back, Questa. The battle is over, but the action's just beginning with the complete Dino Riders collection. Dino Riders! We now return to our program. Don't you worry about a thing, Mr. and Mrs. Young. Here at Sherman's Day Care Center, your little soldier's going to have a wonderful time today. You can pick him up at four. All right, Max. Let the old Sarge take your little dolls. Huh? And put them up out of harm's way. 
Oh, I'm scared of heights. Don't worry, FX. Max is already working on getting us back. <laughs> Buck up, little soldier. It's arts and crafts time. <laughs> wow, the old wimple routine didn't work. I'm going to have to get creative with this guy. Aren't arts and crafts fun, 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 little troopers? <laughs> it's 1,100 hours. Time to see how our projects are coming along. Denise, that's a lovely doggy. And a particularly fine choo-choo for you, Magic. Now, now, Max, there's no need to be shy. <laughs> Let's show Sergeant Sherman our little creation. <laughs> Oh, my goodness, that's a fine sculpture, young fella. Why, you're to be congratulated. Well, I hope we all brought our appetites today. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Isn't that tasty? There's no need to be tight-lipped, Max. Come on, Max. Mr. Pilot needs to land his plane. I think Mr. Pilot's heading for a crash landing. Mm. Come on, Max, open the hangar. Mr. Pilot's running out of patience. Oh. Wow, quite the little marksman, aren't we? Oh, I think we've had enough activities today. Now it's nappy time. <laughs> See you at 1700. I've got to get FX and EB. We're right here. Well, here. What a great trick. You gotta show me how you did it. Now, Max, you heard the orders. It's nappy time. If you think I'm wasting an afternoon catching these, you're a blockhead. And what's wrong with being a blockhead? Gaggoo! Say what, Magic? Gaggoo! All right. Magic says he's itching for some action, too. All that from Gagoo? What an economical language. I've got an idea. Let's rock it out of here. I knew it was coming. What do you say, FX? Let's blast out of this baby boot camp. Rocket and roll! <laughs> But Max, you're not thinking of going AWOL, are you? Don't be silly, AB. We're going through a window. The Candy Cluster System! Oh, wow! wow. Yeah, really? And me on a diet. Uh, Max, I think that sign said no trespassers allowed. That's not how I read it. To me it was no trespassers allowed. Oh, that boy's got the makings of a fine lawyer. Mmm, marshmallow cream, my favorite. Do that again, Max. I want seconds. Hey, take it! It's meant to be chewed, not swallowed. It could be bad for you. I feel fine, A.B. <laughs> Duty diapers! What was that? Stop, you thieving candy bandits, or we'll blast you! Call it a hunch, but I think we're about to have a very unpleasant experience. Who does he think he's messing with? A bunch of kids? Foolish trespassers! You can't escape! Goldie! <laughs> Yep, Kathy! Miss completely gummed up the 
Let's progressive impulse flush thing. What's that mean, dude? It means we're in deep fudge. I have you now, space shrimp. Release the licorice lassoes. Boy, this guy woke up on the wrong side of the cliff. Man, I don't like being yanked around like this. Our program will be back after these messages. You can smush them, you can mush them, you can push them, you can squish them, you can't stop them. Trade a smushies with a friend, the surprises never end, you can't stop them. It's a squishy sensation and it's sweeping the nation, you can't stop them. Everybody's mushing. Everybody's mush. Your smushies are. Smushies go separately. After these messages. We'll be right back. Someone tried to find a Chips Ahoy cookie without biting a chip. But the chips were stacked against him. Original, chewy, and striped Chips Ahoy. Did you bite a chip? I confess. I did it. Oh, 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 Big Stuff Twister, Big Stuff Cruncher, it's Oreo Action, Big Stuff Muncher, Big Stuff Action, the Big Stuff Action, with O-R-E-O. We now return to our program. Max, haven't I told you sweets were bad for your health? You goody thieves have cost me a fortune! I am Goldie the Ha <laughs> Ha Space Gypsy! Sheesh! They're just little kitty babies! Oh, aren't they cute? How dare you, Cosmo! Nothing is cute to a Ha <laughs> Ha Space Gypsy! Sorry, boss. I mean, yuck! Rotten little ankle biters. Don't you droolers know it's wrong to take something that doesn't belong to you? Sorry, Fatso. It was an accident. You little stinkers are always having accidents. Yar! <laughs> Anyone else want the taste of whipped cream whammy? Uh-huh. Not me. No way. You stole my chocolate, and that was bad. You stole my taffy, and that was worse. But when you stole my bubblegum, you blew it! And for that, you will pay by becoming... Ha-ha! Space Gypsies! And when you become full-fledged Space Gypsies, you will receive your Space Gypsy Disguise Kit, black licorice mustaches, and whipped cream beards. Training first, Cosmo. Explain union benefits later. Mm -hmm. Lesson one. Stealing candy from kitty babies. No. Here's a lesson for you guys. Unless you tell us what you did with A, B, and F facts. We're gonna throw tantrums like you've never seen before. Lay it on them, Max! Listen, trainee squirt. You'll do as you're told. I say, no! A, B, and F facts first. And I say, yes, baby face! No! Yes! No, no, no! Yes, yes, yes! Stinky pants! Or you will get the treatment. What's that? A spanking? Ah, I live for those. Right on, Max, my man. Zelda? Zelda can't talk, but she gives a mean baby bath. <laughs> no, look, Denise, this is so horrible to watch. While you're getting your squeaky clean, I'll make some big bucks of your friends with the silly names. I tell you, there's nothing like being a ha <laughs> space gypsy. Epex, we must escape these ruffians and find Max. Dear me, what is this uncivilized place? 
I'll take these two. They'll be perfect for dinner. Whoa! Release us, you repulsive reptile! <laughs> Our program will be back after these messages. The Dino Riders are ambushed. We've got you outnumbered, Gunner! Get you trapped, Hammerhead! The evil Rulon's on Triceratops. Close in on the Dino Riders. I've waited a long time for this, Gunner! Laser cannon fire distracts the Rulon beast. Sure hope you can swim, fish bait! Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops with motorized walking action. And Dino Nikus, each with figures and battle gear. Dino Riders! Ronald McDonald and the Chicken McNuggets and Baby Talk. This reminds me of when you guys were babies. Tell us about it, Ronald. Yeah! I remember when you took your first step. What's that first step? When you learned to read. Oh! Your first birthday. <coughs> your first word. Whee! And your first dip. Barbecue sauce! Now you're all grown up. Right! But don't forget the nightlife. The <laughs> Have you heard the latest word? Fashion Star City. Horses and star-spangled accessories sold separately. Nikki's me is so silky. These glittery star spangles help style her hair. That looks cool. Wow, these body paints make Cal sparkle. She's fabulous. Yeah! Now looks so pretty, all decked out. That's what fashion's all about. Hey! Fashion Star City. Fashion Star Philly and star spangled accessories each sold separately. New from Kenner. We now return to our program. Yes, they'll be perfect for dinner. They could serve us din-din nightly. Honey, please! No touching the gods! Until you pay for them! Oh, did you hear that, FX? We're going to be sold! isn't big enough to hold Fantastic Max. Oops. I'm so embarrassed. In addition to picking the right wardrobe, a gypsy must learn how to pick a pocket. Uh, do you see the dummy? You mean the one talking to us? No, that dummy over there. Watch very closely. I will leave that purse before your very eyes. <coughs> Speed is the key to a successful swipe. Where did Goldie take my friends? Sorry, Max. A space gypsy never squeals. So why don't you just go back to your crib like a good boy? I have ways of making you talk, you know. Hmm. Did. <laughs> Baby food. Chicken and vegetables. Ingredients. Creamed eggplant. Ew! Green vegetable byproduct. Ew! Chicken parts and steam. Ew! Are you gonna talk or eat? A space gypsy never squeals. It says so in the manual. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you. Just stop the torture. <laughs> to leave the ship with only Zelda to guard it? Are you kidding? Who in the way mine would tangle with her? Please don't tell Goldie I squealed, Max. Then help me get my friends back, Cosmo. Anything you say, but your friends are uh, inside there. And we can't get through those doors without special passes. Who needs doors when we've got sacks of these? Nothing can stop us because we are <laughs> space gypsies. What am I bid for this fine pair of strange-looking creatures? 
I'll give you two gumballs. That's no bad. That's an insult, you pig. Uh -oh, me? Well, I never. I'll swap you a year's supply of gumballs for them. Swap accepted, lady. How humiliating for just by a walking handbag. Wait. No sale until I see the Twinklarian do some magic. This is our chance, FX. Use your magic and zap us out of here. Can't do it, A.B. I'm too scared. Well, you'd better stall for time until Max can help us, because we're about to be sold. All right, you little rubber thing. Do your magic thingy. I'm from Twinkle Twinkle. Where are you from? Oh. I ask for magic, and he gives me a cheap pickup line? You'd better give them what they want, kiddo. I'm afraid of heights. I might be sick. Relax, Cosmo, and remember, Space Gypsies never toss their cookies. Especially when they're floating about me, man. I see a place to near. Come on. Hey, what are you trying to pull, Space Gypsy? Keep your scales on, honey. The kid's just shy, that's all. Well, it'll be history unless we see some magic. I believe stall time's over, FX. Give the lady what she wants. Okay, I'll try. It's a good thing I egged you on, FX. Chocolate, my favorite. You got a deal, Space Gypsy. <laughs> Another satisfied customer, and I'm one satisfied. Ha <laughs> ha! Space Gypsy! Goody! You! Well, are my two friends! Sorry, baby, they're so. Get them, guys! Oh no! Whoa! Cosmo, I cannot believe my gypsy eyes. You've stabbed me in the back. In the front also. I couldn't help it, Goldie. They tortured me. And we'll do the same to you, Goldie, if you don't help me get my friends back. Save your breath, Pipsqueak. All sales are final. Then I'll have to put on the kid gloves. You can't scare Goldie, the <laughs> space gypsy. He's asking for a lefty. You're right. Let's give it to him. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I'm ticklish! Stop! Oh, please spare me! Oh, all right, all right, I'll help you. Anything. Good work, guys. This is a great <laughs> space gypsy plan. I'm jealous, kid. My, my. What interesting children. Take a closer look. Oh, darling creatures. <gasps> oh, how rude. Max, are we glad to see you? Hit it, Cody. What a drag. Space gypsies, they ripped me off. After them. They're gaining on us. Yeah, no. Gibbers! 
Max, we're too heavy. We'll have to lighten the load. Release the gun load. Anything but that. My gumball. See you later, alligator. We're going to the overdrive. Hang on. Aha. Hey, gypsies. Sorry about the gumball, Scaldy. Ah, forget it. You can make up for it by joining Cosmo and me as full-fledged <laughs> space gypsies. Do you mean it? Max, I hate to burst your bubble, but this crib's a loner, remember? Dirty diapers! The daycare center! <laughs> Wakey, wakey, Max! Guess who's here? You have a real clever little soldier here, Mr. Young. He's welcome back anytime. Hmm. What have we here? Oh, my goodness! What I need after today is a nice hot bath. Oh, where did you come from? Yow! Who are you? What are you gonna do with that? Ow! Ooh, that's smart! Our program will be back after these messages. It's Enchanted Island Lady Lovely Lock. Ooh, made in Golden Waves. The Pixie Tails want to give us new hairstyles. They pull her long, silky curls and pin them up in pretty swirls with the magic only you and Pixie Tails can do. Pixie Tails are our hair, too. Lady Lovely Lock says, Thank you to the Pixie Tails who style her beautiful hair. Enchanted Island Lady Lovely Lock's doll comes with three Pixie Tails made in Golden Waves sold separately from Mattel. Introducing Teddy Graham. We just want to eat tasty Teddy Graham. Just a bunch of bite-sized bears. The fun to eat. Oh man, oh let them be. Yo, Teddy Graham. New lightly sweet, great to eat Graham snacks. Exploding with taste in honey, cinnamon, and chocolate. Just want to eat those Teddy Graham. Just go. Cannons. Forward laser. Mandibles. Omni lasers. Proton cannons. Buzzsaw omni laser. Broadside rockets. Tri laser. Quest star. Kulos by Tormeko. The evil Rulons are tired of playing games. You are finished, Questar! They want the Dino Rider's time key. Your brother eats flies, Krulos. The greatest battle in the history of the universe is about to begin. Tyrannosaurus Rex and Diplodocus with motorized walking action and Monoclonius, each with figures in battle gear. Dino Riders. We now return to our program. Fantastic man! for the Beanie and Cecil Show. Hey, Cece, that's us. What are we waiting for? Come here, go sailing with Beanie and the crew. Cecil the sea six feet serpent and Uncle Captain too. Dishonest John will never learn the crime that never pays. Cecil the sea six feet serpent always saves the day. Harmless, ten feet tall and wet. Cecil the sea six sea serpent, whose surf you won't forget. So come on, kids, let's flip our legs. Higher than the moon. Now there's baby and Cecil in above and they are two. After these messages, our show will be right back. Thank you. 
see what a great day for singing our new song. Good time, good time, great taste, great taste. <laughs> That's why this is our place. Our oh, place. The good time, great taste of McDonald's. Good time, great taste. Here's the spot. Good time, great taste. That's why this is our place. Good time, great taste. You can collect a different cool blue section free in Apple Jack Connie Snacks and Corn Pop. We now return to our show. The serpent's serpent's name is Cecil. Hey, that's me! Yahoo! Surfing on a sea, surfing hope it never ends. Cause surfing on a sea, serpent means surfing with a friend. Happy evening, Cecil! Front and center, man. Uh, we have an important and dangerous mission to go on. First mate Beanie reporting for duty, Uncle Captain. First Sea Serpent Cecil, reporting for duty, Uncle Captain, sir. Uh, Beanie, Cecil, I just received this desperate plea for help from an old friend of mine. He is King Muckamuck, ruler of the Tropical Isle of How Are You? Not bad. How are you? No, Cecil, not how are you. How are you? Pretty good, except I've got this itch on my back I can't seem to get to. The people of How Are You have a monster on their hands. The horrible, three-headed, three... And our job is to capture. I'd love to help you, Uncle Captain, sir, but I'm all tied up. Hey, Crowley, uh, bring me my map, and I'll chart our course to the islands of How Are You? Ah, ah! Get it yourself! <laughs> work, work, work! He's got everything in there but the kitchen sink. Ah, old joke. Now, I mapped out a shortcut that will get us to the Isle of Hawaii in no time. First, we'll go through the nasal canal, heading south by north, by northwest, by the light of the silvery moon. <laughs> and then we'll arrive, generally speaking, at the Pacific Ocean, where we'll circle the waist of the polyester islands, zip up the Bermuda shores, and then, before you know it, reach the beautiful Isle of Hawaii, where we'll drop anchor on Why Not Kiki Beach. Land ho. Yeah, good. Here comes King Muckamuck and his people to greet us. Oh, nice. A welcoming committee. Gee, is there a problem with my breath? I brushed my teeth this morning. It's not your oral hygiene, teeth. It's the horrible three-headed freak! Yikes! Don't worry, everybody. I've got a two-part plan. What is it, Uncle Captain? You run, I'll hide. Well, Cease, it's just you and me. Don't worry, Beanie Boy. No freep is gonna hurt my little buddy. <laughs> It is I, Dishonest John, who is behind this fake freep fiasco. Once my robot has scared everyone off this island, I'll be able to turn the whole place into Club Bath, a vacation resort for evildoers. I'd know that face anywhere. It's my old enemy, Captain Hoppenpuff. 
with that smartmy sea serpent Cecil and his little boy Buddy Beanie. Wait till those dumb dumb do-gooders get a load of my fake freak. What are we gonna do, Cecil? <laughs> hey, I'm not afraid to fight any three-headed freep. I'm Cecil Balboa, Hulk Serpent, Sugar Ray Cecil. Boy, you gotta watch what you say in these cartoons. Yeah! In this corner, the challenger and do-gooder, Cecil the Seasick Sea Serpent. Toy! And in this corner, the current champion and do batter, the horrible three-headed freak. Ah, those boos are music to my ears. All right, fellas, let's make this a clean fight. Yes, sir. Okay, Freep, I don't want to hurt you, so I'll give you one chance to give yourself up and come quietly. What a colossal sucker. <laughs> the winner, still champion do batter, the horrible three-headed Freep. Bye. <laughs> Cecil, did you notice anything weird about that Freep? Yeah. He wasn't wearing any shorts. Those numbskull nice guys haven't seen the last of the phony freep or dishonest John. Yeah. How are you? 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 How's the wife? Not bad, Murray. How's those islands? Uh, hey, Murray, how about snaring a wild boar for dinner? Yeah, how about sending out the pizza? Mm. Don't worry, King Muckamuck. I'm not through fighting that freep. Gee, Uncle Captain, you haven't even started. Yeah, I have a secret invention that will catch the freep. Yeah, I call it freep paper. Yeah, once the freep steps on the freep paper, it will be helpless. I hope you are right, Captain Huff and Puff. If that freep is not captured soon, we will have to leave this island forever. May I speak, Father? Of course, dear. Gentlemen, my daughter, Princess Princess. Hello, hello. Uh, Crowley, give me a hand. The freep has always been very shy and stayed away from our people. We don't understand why it's attacking us now. Why don't we ask it? Come down, everybody. I have another two-part plan. I'll run you hard. Oh, there. Oh, 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 no. oh. Help, Beanie. Don't worry, Princess Princess. I'll save you. Stay here, and I'll lure the Freep away from the village. He hurt my feelings three times. Help, Cecil! Help! I'm coming, Beanie Boy! Come on, Cecil. Let's get out of here. Make sure the fruit follows us. That way, he won't hurt anyone in the village. You got it, Beanie Boy. I tell you, Cecil, there's something strange about that three-headed freak. Gee, he seemed like a pretty normal three-headed freep to me. Uh-oh, it looks like curtains for us. Gee, it's a good thing I didn't say it looks like couches for us. Hey, I didn't say couches. That's far enough, Freep. Cross that line and I'll clobber you. Okay, that's it. Now I'll have to put my foot down. <laughs> and let that be a lesson to you.
Beanie? Yes, Cecil? I have this terrible sinking sensation! <laughs> Our show will be back after these messages. It's the Hart Family Bath Time Fun Dolls. Doll sets and play sets each sold separately. Bubbles not included. And here's the bathtub that they share. Toys for play. <laughs> Lots of stuff for bath time fun all day. Really it's time for bed. Out of there. Fluffy towels, let's dry your hair. He's going back in. In the Hart Family Tub. <laughs> here's bath time fun for you. Here come the Hart Family baby cousins, each with a favorite toy to share. Doll sets sold separately. What's rockin' rabbits? Oh, we were hoping to do a number with the Kellogg's Raisins. Cause they sing with such flavor. Well, try a warm-up. One, two, one. Two scoops of Raisins are the reason. Kellogg's Raisins brand so pleasing. I ripen two scoops of Raisins for every box as part of this nutritious breakfast. Two scoops of Raisins. Yeah, two. Kellogg's Raisins brand. Now that's a number I can scoop. I think he means dig. <laughs> yeah. It's your very first day in a very big place And everyone is older than you You've come the wrong way, it's not your day You just don't know what to do By the end of the day, you're finding a place Learning the ropes, learning the pace Time to get away to our place For the good times, great day Tomorrow will be better You mean we gotta go back? Of McDonald's we now return to our show. Yeah! It's Link and Lena and Chloe. We're saved! Oops! Gee, thanks, Lena and Chloe, for saving me from falling in the ocean. Okay? Just a little waterlogged. Good thing I'm a permanent press sea serpent. Quick, everybody, follow me. The villagers have surrounded the freep. How could that be? We just left the freep on the other side of the island. Something's fishy, Cecil. You mean something's freepy. What are you going to do with it, King Muckamuck? Why, that's a strange question. We're going to do away with it, of course. Hey, everybody. Your sandals are untied. Now, Freep, run for your life. You let the monster escape. Now all the damage it does will be your fault. People of how are you? Beanie must be punished. So devoted Beanie, I have a plan. I know. Run and hide! Yeah. Yeah. Father, father, no! Don't hurt our friends. Beanie must have had a good reason for what he did. The Freep is a monster. Beanie must be punished for allowing it to get away. <laughs> Beanie, why did you let the Freep get away? Simple, Uncle Captain. I think the villagers caught the wrong Freep. <laughs> the wrong Freep? You mean there's two Freeps? How do you know that? That's easy. The clue was... Eee! Yowie! Eee! The clue was ee yowie woo I don't understand. What kind of a clue is that? Ah! You okay? I'm fine, Cease. Boy, I sure wouldn't want to run into some horrible monster in this dark, scary cave. I'm not gonna be afraid of you. 
Come on out, Freep. No one's gonna hurt you. There. That's better. I knew you were friendly. Cecil, where are you? Over here, hiding from the Freep. Peekaboo! My sisters and I would never hurt or scare anybody. That would be mean. <laughs> My sisters think you're cute. Gosh, girls. Oh, shucks. <laughs> we went to the villagers to tell them we're not the freak who's being naughty, but they wouldn't listen. <laughs> now we'll never have any friends on this island. <laughs> <laughs> That's the saddest thing I ever heard. Oh, cruel, cruel world. <laughs> Beanie. We have to help this framed freep find friends. We will, Cecil. But first, we have to catch the freep who's causing all the trouble. <laughs> That's the bad freep. Come on, let's go get him. <laughs> help, Beanie. Help. Oh, no. Help, Beanie. Help. <laughs> we got a big problem. Yeah, but first, we got a small commercial. Our show will be back after these messages. We're into Barbie. We're into hip, too. Hip clothes and happening places. And we're totally into Barbie and the sensation. Barbie's into singing with the coolest groups in town. The sensation. Jackets that shine. Skirts that twirl around. She's into ponytails that swing. Great hair. We're into it, too. It's our thing. We're into Barbie. We're into Barbie. Sensations Barbie doll comes with her own jacket and a cape for you. Other dolls sold separately. She's new from Mattel. I wish we got the ice cream. It's easy. We're Wish World Kids. Treats and sweets opens up to more. Wish your fridge into an ice cream store. Oh, Shelby serves her favorite treat. Scoops up Sundays that are neat. Wish World Kids. Read and speed becomes a car now. Jesse can Ooh. drive for an ice cream bar. Great. When you wish for one, you get twice the fun. <laughs> wish World Kids. Each place that's sold separately. Treats and sweets and read and speed come with their very own dolls. Wish World Kids from Kenner. We now return to our show. Help, Beanie! Help! Help, Beanie! Come on, Cease. We have to catch that princess poaching freak. Can we come, too? You had better hide. If the villagers catch you again, we may not be able to come to your rescue. Cecil would come to our rescue, wouldn't you, Cecil? <laughs> She's out of her minds about me. What are you doing, Cease? Elementary, my dear Beanie. But what do you need a magnifying glass for? I am looking for clues as to which way the freep went. I think the freep went that way. What makes you think that, Beanie old bean? Oh, um, I don't know. Just a wild guess. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Dishonest John's Club Bad, where the bad come to play. But this is just the beginning. Soon I'll take over the whole island and bad guys from around the world will come here for their undeserved vacations. You must be mad. Mad? I'm not mad. Actually, I'm in a pretty good mood. Let me show you around. <laughs> First, there's the shark-infested Club Bad swimming pool, where we make blindfolded good guys walk the plank. Whoa! Whoa! Why, that's awful! I know. It's much better without the blindfold. Look, Cecil. A bad freak. And he's standing in front of something called Club Bad. It must be sleeping. Without a teddy bear? Whoops! Cecil, look out! Eek! Cecil, that's not a freak. It's not? Uh-uh. Cecil, look. Thanks to your great detective work, 
We just discovered that it's a robot. Oh, uh, I knew that. Come on, let's keep looking around. So, you give up, Freep? See so. Coming. Wow! A swimming pool with sharks! I bet the water's got a bite to it. <laughs> Did you hear that? This one is John! John. No autographs, please. Nah. Help, Beanie! Help! Is that all you say in this show? Help, Beanie, help? Here, look at the script. What do you know? You're right. What jerk wrote this? Let her go, dishonest John. I'll let her go, and how are your island is mine. All mine. Yeah. Why, DJ, you dirty guy? Oh, please. No more compliments. My swell head may get a swelled head. I should have known it was you who built the robot freep and caused all the trouble. Why, thank you. Help, Beanie! Help! Ah! Come on, why don't you help me catch these good guys? I'm on vacation. Cecil, look out for the sharks! I tell a joke right now, but I don't find this at all finny. Ah! Serves up! You won't get away from me! Now's my chance to save Princess Princess! Stand still, you flying little flea! Gotcha! Hang on, Princess Princess! You're not getting away from this meanie, Beanie! Cecil, help! I'm coming, Beanie Boy! Ah, uh, still, you help. little propeller head! Help. Cecil! Ouch! I'll get you out of there, Beanie! Don't worry, pal! Can I help, Cecil? Oh, gosh, thanks, Miss Freeps. But this is kind of a man's job. Who is it? I'm selling Freeps Scout cookies. Would you like to buy some? Do you have the chocolate ones? Uh, gotta go. Cecil, my best friend. DJ! Give me back my buddy Beanie! Oh, yeah? Oh, oh, oh take that. Oh, 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 that is a mess. <laughs> oh, thanks, Cecil. You're the best pal a kid like me ever had. Uh, hello, ladies. I really must be going now. Hey, what do you think I am? Wow, night! Wow, wow! He sure gets wrapped up in his work. <laughs> <laughs> Please forgive us, Beanie. You were right in freeing this free. She truly is a friend to the people of Hawaii. And you are truly a friend to me, Beanie. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Beanie, you're blushing. <laughs> Goodbye, King Makamak. Take good care of Tasana's John. <laughs> oh, don't worry about him. He is in good hands. Hey, Dad. Wah, let me go. Please let me go. Wah. I don't want any milk. Wah. Wave bye-bye. I don't want to wave bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take bye, care, friend go. husband. See ya. Yeah, goodbye. So long. <laughs> Bye-bye! Bye! 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 Bye. Bye. We'll come <laughs> yeah. back soon! See you later! We help the freak find happiness and be all DJs too! The next adventure will be fun! 
with beanies, it's so So we'll be back after these messages. Okay, make sure Dad is like gone. Because when it comes to the smell of an Eggo waffle, they're like part bloodhound. And don't fall for this one. Want to play hide and seek? Yeah, you hide, she'll seek your Eggo waffle. And do your room, because that's when Mom strikes. Jim? It's clean, Mom. Susan's here. Hi, Jimmy. Susan. Hi. For me? Hey, like... Eggo waffles from Kellogg's, part of a complete breakfast. Sometimes you just kind of went to Lego, you know? My friends and I love our Radio Shack radio-controlled cars. Watch out! Here comes Buster! My 4x4 off-roaders big tires hit a lots of bumps to get me out of it quick. And look at my turbo racer, run for cover! Doing my high-speed turbo Lamborghini corners, I'm out of sight in no time! Oh, he always finds that. Buster loves to chase cars! Radio Shack's Radio Control Turbo Lamborghini 4x4 Off-Roader and Turbo Racer. Batteries not included. Radio Control toys each sold separately. Only at Radio Shack. We now return to our show. It's cuddly and he loves to eat honey. It's Winnie the Pooh and all his friends in the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh coming up next. Tomorrow. Backwoods poachers take aim and Mac becomes the game on MacGyver. And Tuesday, Angela Sleep Talk leads to Sweet Talk on Who's the Boss. Then DJ plays hooky in order to get a rock star's autograph on Full House. To capture all three dinosaur shapes wins. And new dinosaurs with meatballs. It's the grand opening of the Kool-Aid Wacky Warehouse, the wackiest store in the world. If it isn't wacky, it isn't in it. Sorry, it's for kids only. To the parents' playpen. Play nice. Now for a tour of my awesome store. Crystal, where'd you wear? Outrageous. <laughs> and if it's wacky sports you're wild for, Buster will very happily equip you wackily. Next stop, a toast at the top. Chill grill. We've got the great taste that'll make you wacky. <laughs> Here's to the wacky warehouse, the wackiest store in the world. We now return to the little clowns of Happy Town. <laughs> My latest invention! What do you think? The clownies are gonna love your picnic surprise. <laughs> it is pretty clowny. <laughs> Tickles, hiccup, it's time for bed. Looks like a new tickle gadget. What does it do? See for yourself, Mom. <laughs> oh, how clowny. And that's not all it does. <clears throat> She's got the whole picnic packed in there. 
<laughs> That's my tickles. And it's time for you girls to pack it into bed. You have a big day tomorrow. And remember... Cloudy to bed, cloudy to rise, makes a cloud kiss. You have a big day tomorrow, Connie. But, Mom, I wanted to help set up the Ferris wheel like I always do. Not tonight, but don't worry. There'll be plenty for you to do in the morning. We'd better bring in a big crowd tomorrow. We're gonna need money to keep the carnival open. We'll manage. Somehow. I'll work extra hard tomorrow. That'll help Mom and Dad. Hey, did you hear the one about the orange that stopped in the middle of the road? It ran out of juice! <laughs> My hat! Yeah, this is really great. Whoa! <laughs> You're pretty funny. I was? Gee, thanks. Hi, I'm Tickles. <laughs> Want to join our picnic? I'm Connie, and I have to get these posters up for our carnival today. We have to get lots of people to come. Carnivals are clown terrific. <laughs> You'll all come, won't you? Yeah, we'll be there late. <laughs> Did someone say carnival? Carnival! I've never heard of such a thing. Uh, a carnival, Mr. B. Bad, has lots of rides and games, and... I know what a carnival is, B. Bad! <laughs> yeah, Whiner, the boss knows that a carnival will make everybody happy. <laughs> the H-word! And that's one thing I'm going to make sure never happens! Gee, boss, how are you gonna do that? By glooming that carnival so it'll never open! How's it coming? This tent has seen better days, but we're lucky to have so many people working for us. And if we get a big turnout today, we can get our little carnival back on its feet. I've hung up all the posters. We're gonna have lots of people. And it is a perfect day for a carnival. <laughs> it's a perfect day for glooming the carnival. Is the gloom machine ready? I think it's stuck! I'll fix it, Weiner. <laughs> Look at that cloud. Hey, what's happening? Eh, who cares about a carnival? This is a drag. I'm tired. Ooh, I don't feel good. Hey, what's going on? We quit. Yeah, I'm leaving. We're out of here. Gee, George, you've been working for us forever. You can't quit now. Sorry, Connie. Dad, how are we going to open the carnival? I wish I knew, honey. We might as well start packing up. Without any help, we can't open today. But, Mom, if we don't open the carnival, we won't make any money. This is a problem for your dad and me to solve, Connie. There's nothing else you can do. Great galloping will be cushions. It looks pretty be bad here. Everyone is quit. We'll never open in time. My parents will lose the carnival and I can't do anything about it. Aw, oh, you know, Connie, when things don't go right, you've got to pick up the pieces and turn it around. Well, how can I do that? If 
you're lonely without your best friend. <laughs> Go make some new friends and you'll smile once again. Turn it around, yeah, you can turn it around. Yeah, you'll find the upside if you stop looking down. Turn it around. See, a little clowny help will get this carnival back in shape in no time. We only have an hour before we open. There's always enough time to clown away a frown. <laughs> Silly clowns are going to undo all my bad work. So we've got to undo their undoing before they can undo ours. How did he do that? How to thank you, kids, for all your help. Drat! Ooh, I'll have to come up with an even more dastardly plan to close that carnival. Does that mean I won't get to ride the ferret's wheel, boss? That's exactly what I mean! Because you two oatmeal lumps will be too busy making trouble. Now get down there and gloom that carnival! Whiner. Very carefully. <laughs> oh, I'll be careful, Whiner. I always am. <laughs> I don't think Mr. B. Bad is going to like this. Oh, those goofs. Do I have to do everything myself? It's a good thing I love being bad. Your carnival now! <laughs> Be bad's at it again! And old Gloomy Puss will keep on trying! Then let's clown him before he can do any more! <laughs> Thanks, kids. We'll be able to fix just about everything in time to open. Except for the Ferris wheel. But the Ferris wheel is our best ride. Don't worry, Mom. When things don't go your way, you got to make them turn around. Right, Tickles? <laughs> Connie, now you're clowning. And with a little imagination, Tickles can make anything work. <laughs> okay, now she's going to do it. Tickles is going to fix this? Sure, Tickles can fix anything. Step right up! Ride the only lying down Ferris wheel in existence! <laughs> Good going, kids. We couldn't have done it without you. Sure you could. <laughs> yeah, Dad. With a clowny feeling, you can make a bad time turn into a glad time. <laughs> waka, waka. <laughs> Our program will be back after these messages. Hey, Bidumpump, what's worse?
Alice and Fundy go worm in an apple. I know. Finding apple worm. <laughs> One, two, one, two, three. I can hear a feeling when the clock strikes three. I can touch it, taste it, I'm finally free. Cause it's my time, my time, it's up to me. I see Hula Punch when it's up to me. Check out new Hula Punch. Fruity Hawaiian taste from High C. High C, High C when it's up to me. New High C Hula Punch. It's totally Hawaiian. Presenting my special crush berries. Crunch berries, crunch berries, such a fun bunch to eat. Crunch berries, no, that many crunches. Crunch berries, and very sweet. You may be sweet, but that no is a little sour. Crunch berries are part of a balanced breakfast. Ah, that's a you have the wildest imagination. But it's true. It's a Kevin Crunch dinosaur spoon. You can eat with it, play with it, share the excitement. You can get all free. One of each specially marked box of my cereal. Ghostbusters! Looks horrid. We're cool. We got ghosts that. Let's find those ghosts. Battery's not included. Yeah! I'm no ghost. But he is. I'll project one too. Over here. We're being watched. Fire ghost zappers. <laughs> Time to high frequency. We ain't afraid of no ghosts! Ghost zapper, ghost projector guns. Each sold separately. Ghostbusters from Kenner. We now return to the Little Clowns of Happy Town. so quick to judge people you don't know. Meet our exchange students. Keiko is from Japan and Pranky is from Happy Town. So as you get started on the class video project, please make them feel welcome. Ha! We'll never win the junior video competition with those oddballs. Gee, that boy Joey isn't very nice. <laughs> I know. He's a boy after my own heart. Drink! Are you shining my shoes? <laughs> yeah, boys. Anything to make you help. Drink! You weren't about to say the uh, H word, were you? Hey, Joey. Why don't we let those new kids help us? They look nice. No way are those weirdos coming near the star of our video movie. Yeah, what can they do to help? Wow, this stuff is great. <laughs> oh, don't be shy. Let's show your decorations to the other kids. No, they don't like me. Hey, they don't even know you. You gotta keep trying. It takes time. But once they see these, they'll want you to teach them how to make them, too. You really think so? Oh, the boss is gonna be so mad. <laughs> Don't worry, Weiner. You'll never have to know. Weiner! Geek! Get the gloom machine ready! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hurry up, you bat brains! I have a kid uh -huh. to gloom. Hey, guys. 
this great stuffed cake homemade for our video. This? You want us to put these things in our video? Oh, no. Now look what I did. Oops. Now it's all dirty. Too bad, weirdo. <laughs> Oh, there is only one thing I like better than the sound of an unhappy child. What's that, Wuss? The whole room full of unhappy children! Now, get a move on, you two coconuts! We've got work to do! Where are my shoes? I'm sorry, boss! I couldn't help it! Oh, never mind! Just come on! I am never going back! Those kids are terrible and mean! They are acting mean, but we won't give up. Uh, we'll wait until recess. We'll clown those kids, and they'll see how great we are. This is boring. I don't want to make a video anymore. Give me a break. Ta-da! Oh, great. It's that goofy clown again. Uh, what's green and bakes pies? Betty Croker, get it! <laughs> Frogs are green and they croak. <laughs> One little clown can't stop me. Whiner, do your stuff. Okay. It's no use, Pranky. Face it, we're just too different. It's not your fault, or mine either. We've been hit with a big bad gloom pie. We heard the gloom alert and rushed right over. Uh, we'll win Joey and the other kids over yet, or pies aren't my game. It's time to clown it up, guys. Come on, clown it <laughs> And I'll make sure their goody goody plan is be batty batty. Hey, Blooper, do you know what the most expensive fish is? A goldfish! <laughs> Gee, those kids are starting to look happy. And they'll be happier when I, uh, we do our act. Right, so let's get this show on the road. Let's get my awfully big daddy booby trap on the road. I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> Sorry, Will Winer. Watch. <laughs> it just takes brains to figure these things out. <laughs> Little clowns make kids all laugh. Kids all laugh. Kids all laugh. Little clowns make kids all laugh. Everywhere we go. <laughs> It's ruined. We won't be able to enter the video contest now. Thanks a lot. Maybe I can fix it. Yeah, she makes lots of things. Forget it. Just stick with your oddball friends. Don't do us any favors. Just stay away from us. Ooh, I just love it. Lots of kids and they're all so angry. <laughs> and there's nothing those clown brats can do. Awful be bad is an awfully mean man. This is all my fault. You are just trying to help me because I'm so... <sighs> different. Different, did you say? Oh, my. But that's the best thing you can be. How's that, Mr. Pickle Harry? Everyone's different, it seems. <laughs> Folks come in flavors just like ice cream. Can I be pistachio green? No, why not? Being different isn't wrong unless you're being mean. Everyone's different, you see. Being different is my specialty. Everyone, I'm, I'm different, different, I'm special, I'm me. <laughs> I'm one of a kind and proud to be. I'm, I'm different, different, I'm special, I'm me. When I look in the mirror, I like what I see. Being different, the best way to be. <laughs> I'm, I'm different, different, I'm special, special I'm me. me. You see, Keiko, 
You're not just different. You're, You're special. special. You're right. And I'm going to show those Crosstown kids, too. That's great. But how? With your help. Come on. <laughs> Do you know how to calm down an angry, fire-breathing dragon? Throw water at him and he'll let off steam. Get it? <laughs> okay, so you don't like the joke. How about the dragon? That dragon will ruin my gloomy plans. Gake, water! We're coming, boys! You're not going to gloom us again, awful be bad. And that's our first place video. As the director, the trophy's yours, Joey. Oh, uh, well, let's give it to Keiko. She deserves it. Her dragon was really different. And she's not so bad either. Keiko, I'm sorry I acted so mean. Just because someone is different doesn't make them bad. Yeah, it makes them special. <laughs> oh, my! This deserves a different celebration. Our program will be back after these messages. Getting in the trucks and being high is a stupid thing to do. So being in control and saying no is not the easiest thing to do. Be an original and take a stand to a free to say no. Don't let a friend push you in. Taking drugs, you got it right, yeah, yeah. To say no, no, right to say no. A kiss in a task in a flower making basket Works like magic, smells so nice, you'll see it's just fantastic Tyco's flower making basket comes with super dough So you can make beautiful smelling flowers Fill the flower bud with your favorite colors Snap it into the basket, pull down the handle and presto Wonderful smelling flowers, put them on display Smell the wheel Real smelling flowers to brighten someone's day Flower making basket Super dough flower making basket with ten buds and four colors of super dough New from Tyco you can start your day! Come on, tell this way! Well, when it's back to sleep, you'll be hopping down the street. Hopping on your hands, hopping on your feet. You'll be hopping, yeah, you'll be hopping. We dig them like that! We dig them like that! We dig them on the food! As a matter, matter of fact, you'll be hopping, yeah, you'll be hopping. So you can take the box or hop like us. Make a snack to part of your complete breakfast. Sweet tasting honey snacks. You'll be hopping. We now return to our show.
Destroy Care Bear Town, boss. Destroy Care Bear Town? Hmm. I like the sound of that. Do it, beastly, but do not fail me. You can count on me, boss. Now get out of my sight. Whoa! 
what a little glue, rope, and wire can do? Our car is as good as new. That's if the motor starts. It'll start, Cheer. Watch this. See, Cheer? <laughs> what did I tell you? Hers like a kitten. <gasps> Die for cover! It's okay, sports fans. <gasps> huh? You were saying, Chad Bear? Well, at least the seat is still in one piece. <laughs> wow! Well, team, it looks like we do have to buy a new car. Oh, goody, goody! And this time, I'll choose the color. Let's see. I figure between the four of us, we can afford a used car. Grumpy has one for sale. Let's go get our money. We'll meet at Grumpy's. Well, at least we don't have to get another steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just love building nasty things. Oh, my poor little thumb. But nothing's going to stop me from destroying Care Bear Town. Oh, this car is so beautiful, those goody-goody Care Bears won't be able to resist having it in their parade. <laughs> and they'll never recognize me in this disguise. <laughs> no, I'm so bad. <laughs> well, Care Bears, let Mr. Greasy put you in the driver's seat. <laughs> So, like I was saying, I know it doesn't look like much, but here at Grumpy's Used Cars, we guarantee that it won't fall apart. For at least a week. <laughs> it doesn't look any better than the one we had before. But we need a car to pull our float. Besides, it's the only one we can afford. Hmm. Okay, we'll take it, Grumpy. We have our share of the money right here. And when we find cheer, we'll have enough to buy it. Well, you'd better hurry up and find her. A deal like this doesn't come along too often. Thanks, Grumpy. Come on, team. Let's go. Yay! <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's <laughs> go. Huh? No. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, gang, no sign of cheer anywhere. If she doesn't show up pretty soon, this team won't be in the parade. All together now. Cheer! Yoo-hoo! Huh? I'm over here. Sorry I miss Grumpy's. I couldn't resist buying this new hair clip. It even matches my outfit. At least you got here, Cheer. We need your share of the money to pay for Grumpy's car. Oh! I spent it all on this hair clip. How are we going to compete in the parade with no car? Cheer, how could you do this to the team? Gosh, guys, I'm sorry. I just forgot. I know. We can get jobs and earn some extra money. Jobs? Huh? Did I hear someone say jobs? I'm building the biggest float in the whole wide world. You want to work for me? We sure do. Then you're hired. Uh, I'll see you back at my float. Okay, let's get a move on, sports fans. I'd love to help, but I get my new outfit all messed up. Well then, will you take our money to Grumpy as a down payment on the car? Okay, champ. That's the spirit. Here. With a new car pulling our float, we're sure to win first prize in the parade. Huh? <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Mr. Greasy's my name. Cars is my game. <laughs> Travel near and far, anywhere to sell a car. Wow! It's a dream come true! And it even matches my new outfit! This car would be swell for our parade! 
Why, you would be queen of the parade. I would? But I couldn't afford such a lovely car. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, how much do you have to offer? Only this. I'll take it. So, hop in. It's all yours. Really? Wow! Wait till everyone sees it. We're sure to win now. And I'll become queen of the parade. Thanks for the car, Mr. Greasy. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> now I'll give those silly Care Bears the ride of their lives as I destroy Care Bear Town. Oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> It's a winner, Braveheart. It certainly is big. <laughs> you sure it'll stand out? Somehow I have the feeling it's still not big enough. Pretty good likeness, though. Oh, coming down! <gasps> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That was great, Braveheart. It sure was, sports fans. Well, we don't call me Braveheart for nothing. Huh? Uh, hi, everybody. Cheer Bear? How do you like our new car? Wow, now that's what I call a set of wheels. Double wow. <laughs> but we can't afford this car. Oh, yes, we can. A very nice car salesman called Mr. Greasy sold it to me. Besides, we, we know, know it, it matches, matches your, your outfit. outfit. <laughs> 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 the Care Bear Parade is about to start. And I get to destroy it all, along with Care Bear Town. Yuck! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Furballs think they're in the driver's seat with their fancy car. But after I take control, they'll be in wheel trouble. <laughs> Our show will be back after these messages. Imagine me and you, and you and me, together eating golden grams so happily. That crispy gram and honey taste was meant to be so happy together. In 1701, an obscure chef wanted to impress his king. Let's see, chocolate and uh, peanut butter or chocolate and snails? Chocolate and peanut butter. What? I am the chef. You are the king. Chocolate and snails. He just missed discovering the great taste of pure milk chocolate <laughs> and delicious peanut butter. Not to mention impressing the king. And so the world would have to wait for the two great tastes that taste great together in Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I can hear it feeling when the clock strikes three I can touch it, taste it, I'm finally free Cause it's my time, my time is up to me I see, I see when it's up to me I can rock and feel it, do as I see fit I can play it, shout and make the most of it I see, I see when it's up to me I see, I see when it's up to me I see, I see when it's up to me We now return to our program Attention floats! Attention floats! The parade starts in one minute! Okay, sports fans! It's time to get this show on the road! Alright! Okay. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> now it's time for the biggest, baddest, nastiest parade of all time! <laughs> Machine, do your stuff. This car. 
star will be the prettiest one in the whole parade. Oh, gosh! What's going on? According to my calculations, it's got to be bad. We're trapped, sports fans! Huh? Welcome, Care Bears. I know that voice. Beastly? Oh, no! He tricked me into buying this car. What have I done? Nothing. Boo-boo, that's what. Now it's time for me to destroy Care Bear Town. You can't do that, Beastly. That's... that's... unsportsmanlike. Oh, yes, I can. Just watch me with my... mean machine. Some more fun with my mm, mean machine. Let's see, where's that remote control box? Aha! There it is. Gotcha. Whoops! Whoa! <laughs> you just call me Butterfingers. in their town for this. I'm so... Bad. Oh my goodness! We're gonna crash into Braveheart's float! Whoa there! I say! Whoa there! It's not stopping! Nothing's going to destroy my float. Care Bear Countdown. Four, three, two, one. Care Bears, stare! <laughs> We've got to try harder! Oh. It's not working! Whoa! Abandon float! Yeah! Oh! My beautiful float! Destroyed! I did it! I ruined their parade! Now, to destroy Care Bear Town, I'll start with the Hall of Hearts! <laughs> This thing off my tail! Yeah. Oh, no. 
goody! <laughs> the main machine is heading straight for the Hall of Hearts! Oh no! We're heading straight for the what? Hall of Hearts! That's what I said. If only we could put this machine out of service. Wait a minute! I think I know the way! Cheer! I hardly think this is the time to do your hair. No! Wait! This hair clip could plug up the engine. I'll climb out the window and stuff it into the air intake scoop. But Cheer, you'll never fit through that window. You're way too fast. Hmm. Ah, fantastic idea! Well, uh, let's hop to it, shall we? Ah. Ah. Oh, I'm stuck, Cheer! Give me a push!
now return to our program. to make the donuts. Introducing a big idea from a giant in the business, the world's smallest donuts. In new Dunkin' Donut cereal, you get delicious, crunchy little donuts by the hundreds. All your favorite donut shapes, rings, holes, and twists. You can choose rich chocolate or glazed donut flavors, or both as part of a nutritious breakfast. Dunkin' Donut cereal, crunchy little donuts, great big taste. Time to eat the donuts. This is CBS. The Ronald McDonald Good Time Stuff. Come on! Good time. Good time. Oh, great taste. Great taste. That's why this is our place. The Good Time Great Taste of McDonald's. Everybody! Good time. Great taste. That's why this is our place. The Good Time Great Taste of McDonald's. Detroit, the near future. Officer Alex J. Murphy and his partner Ann Lewis fight to rid the decaying city of the criminal element which infests it. After being mortally wounded in the line of duty, Officer Murphy is outfitted by OCP with bulletproof titanium robotic parts and with computer-enhanced motor and sensory capabilities. He has become the ultimate super cop. Robocop. show will be back after these messages. We're in the Muppet Test Kitchen. The Swedish chef is making his delicious star-shaped cereal, New Crunchy Stars, with cinnamon toast taste. Crunchy! Crunchy stars. Scrunchy, scrunchy stars. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Mm, scrunchy. Crunchy stars. Mm -hmm. Great taste from Post and the Swedish mm -hmm. chef. New Smurf Magic Berries. That fruity cereal with marshmallow stars will be marshmallowy mine. Gargamel took our cereal. It's a cinch with my marshmallow stars. You feel the pinch. Ouch! My marshmallow stars make everyone love. New Smurf Magic Berry cereal. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Yummy gummy smurf, gummy goodies candy, fruity flavored and free, in each smurf magic berry, cereal box, smart specialty. We now return to our show. All units, burglary in progress, OCP bluffing, 5th and Central. What's the situation? There are six of them, officer, and they have guns. Well, don't just stand there. Cordon off the area. Yes, sir. Careful with this plasma. It's worth a fortune on the black market. <laughs> a bloody fortune. This is the police. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Benny, what are we going to Keep your shirt on. I'll take care of the cops. Kiss my big toe, copper. You try to take us, we'll blow this joint sky high. Blast. No two-bit punk is gonna railroad me. Let's get him, boys. Great. That blood bank supplies plasma to half the hospitals in the city. If they destroy it, hundreds of patients might die. This is police business, mister. Stay out of it. We got the stuff, Benny. Let's get out of here. First, I'm gonna leave a little present for our friends out there. <laughs> this should keep them busy while we get away. Whoa! Benny, what's that? <gasps> Put down your weapons. You are under arrest. You heard the man. Drop him! Forget it, lady! Mercy! Look out! 
Say that again. Nice play, Robo. These dudes are going to be benched for a long time. What do you mean, nice play? They never would have sent that bomb if he hadn't gone charging in half cocked. I was following my prime directive. Prime directive? Yes. Serve the public trust, uphold the law, protect the innocent. You almost blew the whole operation, bucket brain! I calculated a 99.7% probability of success. Don't get cute with me, you walking tin can! If you weren't a cop, I'd... Hey! Simmer down here! We're all on the same team. <clears throat> Aren't you supposed to be out on patrol, Officer Lewis? Huh? Oh, sure, Sarge. <laughs> Come on, Murphy! We can continue this discussion later. OCP never should have created that monstrosity. I tell you, Omni Consumer Products can no longer afford to maintain RoboCop. Just look at the damage he did to one of our own facilities. This alone proves that the RoboCop project is wasteful and inefficient. That's ridiculous. RoboCop is the most successful cybernetic product this company has ever produced. Until the introduction of Ed 260, that is. The enforcement droid? Are you still pushing that clunker? Sir, you can't possibly believe that... Let's see what Dr. McNamara has to offer. Thank you, sir. I have set up a simple demonstration of Ed 260's traffic control capabilities. I'm sure you'll find it most enlightening. Halt. Proceed. Will you look at that? <laughs> What'll they think of next? Keep moving. <laughs> yes, sir. Harold, I left my purse at the hairdresser. We've just got to go back and get it. Uh, all right. You have made an illegal turn. Halt. Did you say something, honey? I repeat, halt. <laughs> <laughs> Changing lanes without signaling is a violation. You are all illegally parked. Halt. Vehicles will be towed at owner's expense. Owner's expense. Owner's expense. Attention! Do not panic! Normal traffic will soon be restored! <laughs> it appears Ed 260 needs a bit more work, Dr. McNamara. Yes, sir. I'll begin at once. If you'll please excuse me. Ah, He's embarrassed me once too often, and now he's going to pay. Our show will be back after these messages. Dinosaurs are a 
big part of this nutritious breakfast. One more bowl. Uh, coming up. up. Nothing is finer than breakfast at the dinosaur. Diner. Dinosaurs. No dinosaur cereal. Imagine me and you and you and me together eating golden grams so happily that crispy gram and honey taste was meant to be so happy together. In 1701, an obscure chef wanted to impress his king. Let's see, chocolate and uh, peanut butter or chocolate and snails? Chocolate and peanut butter. What? I am the chef. You are the king. Chocolate and snails. He just missed discovering the great taste of pure milk chocolate <laughs> and delicious peanut butter. Not to mention impressing the king. And so the world would have to wait for the two great tastes that taste great together in Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. We now return to our show. Man, I'm tired of hanging around this dump. Why can't we go cruising to find us some real action? Cause Crash piled up our van again, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was almost as good as the real thing. Man, that dude's crazy. Goofy <laughs> game! Ah! You guys want to finish it? Yeah, it's your boss. We'd love to. <laughs> nice game, fellas. <clears throat> Excuse me, gentlemen. Huh? I'm looking for the vandals. Mister, nobody looks for the vandals unless they mean business. I assure you, I do mean business. Serious business. Uh, oh, what? Uh, well, what do you want with us? I've heard that you gentlemen have some unusual abilities. I will pay you handsomely if you'll use those talents to go on a widespread oh, crime yeah. spree. Why would anyone pay us to do that? I believe that if crime goes unchecked in old Detroit, Robocop will be discredited. Disquieted? <laughs> it will make him look bad. Oh, yeah! Yeah! I will also provide you with any technical assistance you might need. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Hey, Ethan Edison, we'll send a patrol right away. What? Hold on. Oh, we're getting mauled out there. Where in blazes is Robocop? Dr. Tyler took him down to maintenance to be reprogrammed. Blast that woman! We can't afford to have our best player on the bench. 1050? 1150? Excellent. By changing this subprogram, we can increase his reaction time by 0.02%. Why can't you stop messing with his head, Dr. Tyler? He's a cop, not a guinea pig. This is no concern of yours, Officer Lewis. You couldn't possibly understand what we're trying to accomplish here. Oh, I understand, all right. You're trying to program every ounce of humanity out of him. How dare you? You, you priggish paramecium. Knock it off, ladies. Robocop, there's trouble at the Metro Shopping Center, so get your crash-proof carcass down there. Yes, sir. Wait, what about my test? I have a job to do. Way to go, Robo! I guess I'll do my Christmas shopping, er. Hold it right there, buddy. You're coming with me. Aw, oh, don't be mad, officer. Why don't we shake and be friends? Ah, oh, oh. Hey, what do you think you're... What? It's a strike! No 
playing with toys. Nice shooting, cowboy. Thank you. Looks like we got us some company. And we didn't even send him an invitation. Wanna join the party, metal man? The more the merrier. You are disturbing the peace. Drop your weapons and come with me. No way! <laughs> What's your hurry, cop? Somebody could get hurt! Lewis! Geronimo! Ah! You can't hide from me! Oh! Hey, hot dog! All you need now is a little mustard! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Lewis, look out! <laughs> Mr. Tin Can Man anymore. Yeah, but you smashed up another car. Hey, don't get so hot under the collar. The next one I build will be even better. <laughs> Murphy? Murphy? Are you all right? I think so. Wow, that must have been some fight, Robo. Wish I could have seen it. This is nothing to celebrate about, Roosevelt. Current readings indicate that 37.9% of Robocop circuits are non-functional. Thanks to you, he might be offline for good. Maybe she's right. It is my fault. It was a virtual free-for-all today at the Metro South Shopping Center when a gang known as the Vandals went on a wild rampage. Even Robocop proved ineffective against these modern-day barbarians. You see, this proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that Robocop is an utter failure. OCP should put a stop to Dr. Tyler's wasteful project at once. You may have a point there, Dr. McNamara. Since OCP runs the police force, the possibility of lawsuits resulting from this cancerous crime wave could cost the company millions. Then you'll reconsider the Robocop project, sir? More than that, Doctor. If necessary, I would advise Tyler to pull the plug on Robocop by the end of the day. Our show will be back after these messages. One, two, one, two, three. I can hear it feeling when the clock strikes three. I can touch it, taste it, I'm finally free. Cause it's my time, my time. Hello, my name is Crispy. How do you do? Crispy Critter cereal is entirely new. It's indubitably delicious. Oh, here comes Crispy Critters, a good wholesome bunch. The low sugar cereal with lots of crunch. Yes, it's indubitably. 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 Oh, Crispy Critter cereal is part of a balanced breakfast. Cha 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 cha. We now return to our show. Now that's what we at Media Break call a perky poodle. And on a more serious note, the crime wave that has hit old Detroit continues to plague the city. It's a virtual battleground as the police try to stop the vandals. Unfortunately, the gang's speedy jet-boosted vehicles give them the upper hand. <laughs> Not true. The situation will soon be under control. There is no reason to panic at this time. 
So far, all Detroit's finest have been unable to stem the tide. We've got a lot to thank McNamara for. The parts he gave us for our cars are making us the fastest gang in Detroit. No one can beat us! Oh, the cops ain't seen nothing yet. This little baby will make those clowns wish they stayed in bed today. <laughs> Keep it moving. It's fourth and goal out there, and I need every available man and woman. But Cecil... I repeat, no one leaves here without signing a requisition form. There's no time for signing papers, kid. The clock's running out. Sorry, sir. I was only doing my job. Look at this place. Everyone's beat and we're still being tackled. We need some backup. Where is Robocop? <laughs> All right. You look as good as new. Terrific. We've received reports that the Vandals are heading for the Federal Reserve Gold Depository. Let's go, Murphy. Your vacation's over. Robocop's not going anywhere. He's still not functioning at peak level. Damage to his circuits may still cause a major loss of power leading to a permanent shutdown. Some things cannot wait. Go get him, Robo. You can't do this. Not even Robocop! <laughs> All your positions, men. We're not budging an inch. Move out of the way, bozos! We're coming through! Told you to hold your positions. Move it out, Crash. We got a lot more kill those in the do. Well, well. Look who's here. You are in direct violation of Penal Code 7673. I order you to halt. Old Tinsel Top must be out of his mind. Let's show him what the dozer can do. <laughs> He's as good as dead! What the? Hey, lady! Don't pick up hitchhikers! Especially coppers! Too bad! I was hoping for a free ride! <laughs> <laughs> I think what he needs is a little trim off the top! Let's finish him! Your time is up, boys.
allow me. I didn't think you'd make it, Murphy. Especially without my help. Sometimes you just have to help yourself. Today, RoboCop put a stop to the crime wave that has been plaguing the city. Thanks to the cybernetic super cop, old Detroit is safe once again. I think it might be a little premature to stop the RoboCop project. Don't you, Dr. McNamara? Yes, sir. Excuse me, but I have work to do. RoboCop may be a hero for now, but someday I'll show the world what he really is. Just a pile of nuts and bolts. You were terrific, Robo. The greatest. Now that's the truth. You took the ball and you ran with it. Just like the old Gipper. Thank you, Sergeant. RoboCop, you could have been damaged beyond repair. Just what did you think you were doing? My job. Well, maybe so. But it's imperative you rest without delay. Sorry, Doc, but you can't keep a good man down. Or a machine. Our show will be back after these messages. We're into exploring, <laughs> looking exotic, and talking to the natives. Hello. And we're major in Island Fun Barbie. Island Fun Barbie into flower lace. She's into wearing her skirt in so many ways. She's into long, pretty hair. She's into a friend. We're into it too, cause the fun never ends. We're into We're into fun Barbie. Barbie. Island Fun Barbie comes with a change around skirt and island necklace. Other dolls sold separately. New from Mattel. Here's something new and juicy Here's something a whole lot of fun New lifesavers, fruit juice, a candy Real juice in everyone That's cool. With the juice in fruit juice, a candy Strawberry Eat it, they grow on a tree Here's something new and juicy Here's something a whole lot of fun New lifesavers, fruit juice, a candy Berries Real juice means a whole lot of fun we now return to our show. Doll. You'll need your eyeshadow. Ooh, purple earrings too. And your red nail polish. Wow. Just use cold and warm water. Now, should I put your lipstick on or take it off? Um, let's put it back on. And with your sweetheart, we'll be the hit of the party. <laughs> Little Miss Makeup comes with a play suit and a party dress you can change. Little Miss Makeup, only from Mattel. One, two, one, two, three. I can hear you. I can touch it, taste it, I'm finally free Cause it's my time, my time, it's up to me I see Hula Punch when it's up to me Check out new Hula Punch, fruity Hawaiian taste from High C High C, High C when it's up to me New High C Hula Punch, it's totally Hawaiian yeah! Cops Central organization of police specialists fighting crime in a future time. Protecting Empire City from Big Boss and his gang of crooks.
Our program will be back after these messages. Take it easy in that slate board, Freddy. Be careful. You too, Dad. Don't forget to sing a song of seatbelt safety. Huh? Oh, yeah. The seatbelt connected to the frame zone. The lap strap goes across the hip bone. The shoulder strap angles or the chest bone. So oh, hear the words of the law. Those belts, those bones, those seatbelts. For safety's sake, wear seatbelts. I'll properly wear seatbelts and heed the words of the law. Sometimes kids have to remind grown-ups. Yabba dabba buckle up. This is ABC. It was late one night in the castle of the Chicken McNuggets. What are you making? Sauce. We're using my mummy's recipe. Mummy? Uh-uh. Oh, oh. This is going to be good. It'll be great. Hmm, does your daddy have a recipe? <laughs> <laughs> When you buy McDonald's Zoo Face Happy Meal, you can disguise yourself with a wild animal nose and face paint. See you later, alligator! McDonald's Zoo Face Happy Meal. You can collect all four. We now return to our show. The case of the stuck-up blimp. Cops file 29761. The crime was unusually daring, even for the big boss. A daylight robbery of Empire City's spectacular new blimp. Here's how the caper came down. The Mountbatten arrived in Empire City this morning. In a few short hours, the city's rich and famous will be arriving in droves for the fundraiser on board this luxury airship. I'll be there too, bringing you exclusive coverage. This is Whitney Morgan reporting live. Empire City is rich and famous. Eh? All stuck on that blimp. What an opportunity. Now, let's go over the plan one more time. Right, Big Boss. We crash the party on the blimp, destroy the radio so they can't call for help. And we steal all the loot we can carry. And I zoom up in a copter and collect the gang and the loot. Not before I cut the blimp loose. The cops will be so busy trying to save the passengers, we'll slip right through their fingers. Good. But you forgot one thing. If you're going to crash that party, you're going to wear tuxedos. Officer! You forgot something! No tuxedos complete without a top hat. Uh, thanks. Ta-ta! Better hurry, or I'll be late for that fundraiser. Let's 
go, bright boy. We got a blimp to rob. Uh, 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 uh. Shucks. Has anyone seen Hardtop? We're going to be late for that charity dinner. He'll show up, sir. Hardtop had never missed a chance to meet his uh, dream girl. You mean Whitney, uh, Whitney... Morgan. Whitney Morgan. The best darn reporter in Empire City. And also the prettiest. I hear she goes for big, tough cops in uniform. Well, I guess that leaves me out. Let's go, sir. How long have you been afraid of heights? Who, me? What makes you think I'm afraid of heights? Then how do you explain the look of fear in your eyes? Uh, well, I... This isn't official cop's business, Hardtop. Nobody's forcing you to come. That's okay. I can handle it. sources. Look, Bulletproof, I need an angle on this shindig. I'm not here on official business. Our visit is strictly social. Well, if something comes up... You'll be the first to know. <sighs> she looks even prettier in person. What exactly are these things? What do I look like, lady? The galloping gourmet? Hmm. Hey! Huh? Maybe you didn't understand. The lady wants to know what you're serving. Me? I ain't serving nothing. I'm open for roll, see? Parole. I probably wouldn't have liked those little sandwiches anyway. Wait, I saw you with Bulletproof earlier. You must be one of the cops. Mind if I tag along? I think you might be onto a story. Well, I, uh, I guess I... Now, as you were saying... Whitney, sweetheart. Yes, Beamer? I've set up an interview with Nathan Kelly. The shipping tycoon? The very same. Well, lead on, Beamer. <laughs> Gotta go, officer. We'll talk later. <sighs> What? Hey, what are you trying to do? Are you my friends? Something's fishy around here, Chief, and it's not the caviar. Shh. Let's check it out. Huh? Whoa! Thanks for the Zergo. I guess we should have brought our guns, huh? Don't move! 
copper. Get your mitts up. Now, move up against the wall. Now, what do you know? Oh, rubber leg, right? You've got some memory, mister. What are we doing, him, Berserko? If I could just get my hands on you. Chill out, rubber legs. Our program will be back after these messages. <laughs> Why did you ask me that small meal? I'll fight because the little goes a long way. <laughs> New Smurf Magic Berries, that fruity cereal with marshmallow stars, will be marshmallow in mine! Gargamel took our cereal! It's a cinch with my marshmallow stars. You feel the pinch. Ouch! My marshmallow stars make everyone love New Smurf Magic Berry cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Gummy, gummy, smurf, gummy goodies candy, fruity flavored and free, in each smurf magic berry, cereal box, smart specially. We're in the hair, lots of hair, and perfume everywhere. That's why we're so into Perfume Pretty Barbie. Perfume Pretty Barbie's into fragrance we can share. Because with Barbie, she's into love, pretty, fabulous hair. We're into it too. Wow. Down to there. We're into Barbie. We're into Barbie. Perfume Pretty Barbie doll comes with real fragrance for you and a gown she can wear short or long. From Mattel. Broadside rockets. Tri laser. Quest star. Kurlos by Tormeko. The evil Rulons are tired of playing games. You are finished, Quest star. They want the Dino Riders' time key. Your brother eats flies, Kurlos. The greatest battle in the history of the universe is about to begin. Tyrannosaurus Rex and Diplodocus with motorized walking action and Monoclonius, each with figures in battle gear. Dino Riders. We now return to our show. You signal Turbo and destroy the ship's radio. Ah, uh, good. Meanwhile, I'll cut the flip loose while the boys rob the passengers. Great! Let's do it! Uh, don't forget to make me a doggy bag. I like those little sandwiches. Doggy bag! Right! Now get out there! Sorry, Boat Bulletproof. But my fingers are starting to freeze. There. I've almost got it. That does it. This is all my fault. I should have figured why those thugs were stealing tuxedos. Don't worry about it. I've got a plan. 1033. Repeat. 1033. Emergency. Emergency. Officers in trouble. Request backup. Robbery in progress. Bulletproof's in trouble. Let's go. It's crime fighting time! A simple tumbler setup. A charge about here should be sufficient. This M98 moves approximately. Do it before my ears freeze off! Uh, sir? I had a blip loose before. I kind of like it. Ah! Ah! One line down, three to go. 1027, approach with extreme caution. Repeat, approach with extreme caution. On our way up, sir. What gives? Suspect on board plans to cut the Zeppelin loose. If the blimp breaks free, we'll never get on board. Listen, Hardtop, I'll go up and stop Crusher before he cuts the ship loose. When the
that platform comes around with Longarm and the others locking into place. I won't let you down, sir. That goes without saying. Excuse me, Whitney Morgan, Empire City News. Can't you see I'm busy, lady? Oh, don't let me interrupt. But I was curious. You've looted the passengers of all their valuables. Why steal those tiny sandwiches? It's a doggy bag for Crusher. It's all over, Crusher. Hate to leave you hanging, but I got a flip to cut loose. Things heat up down there. Not that we're party poopers, but our ride just showed up. All right, let's split. I hope you don't think I'm a pest, but how about an exclusive interview? One more crack out of you, lady, and I'll give you an exclusive knuckle sandwich. Then how about some stock footage for the 11 o'clock news? Beamer! you've done to Beamer. It'll take weeks to put him back together again. Keep it up, lady. You'll join him. Got to stop him. Berserko, you're under arrest. Let me go, you big goose. You should have stayed in the icebox. me. Hi, Tom. Get ready! I can't! Snap out of it, kid! Long arm! I can't! Oh! 
The game's over, Berserko. That's what you think, Flatfoot. You're out of my... You got the loot! Before you go, a quick interview for the 6 o'clock news? It's been fun, and you can quote me on it! What? Don't worry, I won't let you fall. I think I finally found my story. Oh. Sorry to spoil the moment, kid. What do you know? They left the loot! <laughs> well, I assume you pulled the heist off without a hitch? How much loot did you get? Let me see! Huh? What? I hope it's not a problem. Sandwiches? Uh, uh, well, Big Boss, we did have a little problem with the loot. But how do you feel about sandwiches? Ah, uh, Excuse me, hard top. I, I just wanted to say. We've got to hook up with the studio. They want you to go on live. I, I think what you did was. Got the chit chat. Fifty million people are waiting. Next time, lady. So, what's this about you being afraid of heights? Not anymore. Anybody can conquer their fears. Tonight, Empire City was served by its elite law enforcement team, Cops, who proved once again that crime does not pay. And this reporter must give a special thanks to one member of Cops. This one's for you, Hardtop. Rock Crusher and the remaining crooks were sentenced to jail. The jewels were returned to their rightful owners and the Zeppelin was remoored above Empire City, thus ending the case of the stuck-up limp. Case closed. Our program will be back after these messages. Get the beat! Let's tell you about A is for Apple. Apple Jack, so apple sweet. And you know, J is for Jack. Uh-huh, and the cool to eat. Apple sweet, Apple Jack. Real apples and cinnamon make Kellogg's Apple Jacks an apple sweet part of a complete breakfast. Apple Jacks are apple sweet, Apple Jacks. Beep, 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 Apple Jacks and Apple Jacks. Why don't we do breakfast? One, two, one, two, three. I can hear the feeling when the clock strikes three. I can touch it, taste it. I'm finally free. Cause it's my time, my time is up to me. Me. Check out new rule of punch. Fruity Hawaiian taste from high C. High C, high C when it's up to me. New high C rule of punch. It's totally Hawaiian. Yeah! We now return to our show. Cop, roll call, highway, mainframe, long arm, Bowser and Blitz, sundown, hard top. Mirage, Bullseye, Mace, Barricade, and they call me Bulletproof. These are Empire City's most wanted crooks. Berserko, Rock Crusher, Misdemeanor, Turbo Two-Tone, Dr. Bad Vibes, Nightshade, Use Caution in Apprehending, Mmm, <laughs> mmm, 
My Super Golden Crisp cereal's bringing more honey to this nutritious breakfast than ever. I'm a buzz with the news. <laughs> so are we, yeah. Hand over your honey sweet wheat, sugar bell. Yeah, hand it over. To be or not to be? How about a vitamin pack punch? Now buzz off. I can't get enough Super Golden Crisp. It's got the crunch with punch. And more honey. Meet the Pretenders, who we're a bunch of cats who'll do anything to get out of this pet shop, even dress up like other animals. Shh! So if you see us in your neighborhood and you find out we're not what you think we are, you're the best bunny ever. Purr? You're not a bunny. You're a cat. Don't tell, okay? Don't worry. It'll be our secret. The Pretenders, from Fisher Price, each sold separately. Squeeze them and they really purr. Hey, hey, hey! It's Bud Albert, and I'm gonna sing a song for you. And Bill's gonna show you a thing or two. You'll have some fun now with me and all the gang. This is Bill Cosby coming at you with music and fun. And if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. <laughs> Our show will be back after these messages. exploring is hard work. Yeah, now I've got to refuel myself. I know. Let's go to the Milky Way. That'll hit the spot. The fun's just starting. Quick will make it rich, chocolatey. And... Delicious. Ah, Quick really puts me in orbit. Nestle Quick, the taste that gets you going. Oh, baby. We're baby rabbits. Baby rabbits are bundles of fun. Long is bunnies, so keep you on the run. Each sold separately. Cuddly babies who need your care. Cause their big long ears go everywhere. You can rock them, feed them, burp them, walk them, kiss them. Oh, baby rabbits. We love them. Baby rabbits. Gail, Gabby, and Gwen. Each sold separately. We now return to our show. Bucky, Donald, Mushmail, you guys work around back. Bill and Russell, you take the front. Harold, you do the sides. And uh, snap it up, we've got a lot of work to do. Speaking of work, why don't you stop working your gums and help out? I happen to be the supervisor type. I thought he was more like the supervisor type. <laughs> uh, hey, Squirt. Oops, sorry, Rudy. Sorry? You painted my hand. I paint your mouth, too, but I don't have a brush big enough. Hey, Rudy, help me out, will you? <laughs> Hey, dumb Donald! What do you want? Never mind. <laughs> A masterpiece. Hey. Have you seen Rudy? He said he was going to fix the roof. He shouldn't be fooling around up here. It could be dangerous, you know. <laughs> hey, Rudy! <laughs> you better get down from there, Rudy. You might get hurt. Don't worry about me. I've got perfect balance. 
Trudy, look out! Trudy! Yeah! Trudy, you better bring my wagon back. Stop this thing! Are you ready? Oh, uh, uh, I think so. <laughs> it looks like Rudy will be all right, but only because he's lucky. Playing around on rooftops is dumb and dangerous, as Rudy found out. Hey, a battle of the bands contest. And first prize is $100? Hey, it says here that we got to sign up today. Well, what are we waiting for? Yeah, let's go! Hey, 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 hey. we're on our way. Buddy Warren from school? Hey, buddy. Uh, you know, like, can that buddy stuff, will ya? I call myself Slash now. Okay, uh, Slash. Uh, you guys are not entering this band contest, are you? We sure are. I've heard you guys practicing in the junkyard. <laughs> Let me give you a tip. Don't waste your time. No way could you win against my band. Uh, says who? Don't get hot, man. I'm just telling you how it is. You want to get blown away? That's up to you. What a jerk. You fellas ready to sign up? You, you bet. bet. Well, Fat Albert and the gang are pretty fired up over the battle of the bands. As for that guy, Buddy, well, he's the kind of person you're always glad to see if he's walking away from you. The gang is going to have to practice hard to win the contest. I wonder if they could use another player. Maybe I better leave the music to the gang. <laughs> errands for his mom. He'll be along soon. <laughs> okay, time for some hot lick from Kidar Rudy. Ooh, get ready for the sweetest sound you ever heard. sound I ever heard, but it sure was the loudest. If you guys are finished, we've got a lot of practicing to do. You guys may need to practice, but when it comes to music, I'm a natural. Yeah, a natural disaster. <laughs> You're gonna get it now. <laughs> You know, Russell treats Rudy as if he were a hot dog, always steaming him up. Sounds like the band is into their practicing, and boy, do they need it. Excuse me, fellas. Uh, I heard you playing, and I, I thought I might give you a few tips. Uh, my name is... Uh... Uh, no offense, mister, but uh, we play modern music. Hey, I think that old dude is just what you guys need. 
Yeah, an old guy like you could really help my pals here. <laughs> you could teach him a kind of a waltz or a polka or, or something. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I, I was a pretty good musician once. Uh... Yeah, when? In the Stone Age? Hey, that'd make you a rock musician, right? <laughs> Stone Age? Rock musician? <laughs> Get it? I guess you boys don't have time to learn something after all. Uh, sorry I bothered you. Hey, hey, mister, wait! We didn't mean a... <laughs> Did you dig on that old guy? He was really a giggle. <laughs> hey, why don't you make like a garbage truck and haul yourself out of here? Trash? The name is Slash, and you ought to thank me for getting rid of that old dude for you. Well, so long, chumps. I'm sorry. I... You kids are all alike. I really am sorry. If Buddy's brain was as big as his mouth, he'd be a genius. He doesn't realize that we can all learn from others if we take the time to listen. Young or old, everyone has some kind of talent or experience they can share. And the more we share, the more we grow. Now, when you act the way Buddy does, you don't grow. But other people do. They grow tired of having you around. Our program will be back after these messages. Look, Toucan. I would have made the shot if I hadn't practiced through breakfast. Ah, then fruit flavor should be your aim. Follow my nose. It's a fast break. Kellogg's Fruit Loop Cereal with natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavor. And lots of vitamin C, part of this complete breakfast. Have some. Oh, boy. It's a slam dunk. You can play ball. Be a smash or a copycat. Stretch out. Awesome. Free Jeffrey Putty from Toys R Us with coupon on Fruit Loops. And have them signed by the end of the week. Report card! Are you glad you hit the books? Report card! Don't you be afraid to look? A report card! I need something to eat. Lucky D's? How can you think about food at a time like this? Did you study hard? Good time, great taste, reporting in and out. Signature? No. no. Oh, I think that's it. Squish it out. Squeeze it through. Shape it up. It's easy to do. Fun Factory. The Play-Doh Fun Factory and Rainbow Pack sold separately. Down it goes. Out it comes. That's how Play-Doh makes it fun. Fun Factory. Now you can get this real Ghostbusters fun kit free with four glow-in-the-dark stickers, a green ghost poster, and six games to play. Free in specially marked Fun Factory packages while supplies last. We now return to our program. Contest. We'll be lucky to come in last. We gotta do something to make our sound better. I think that thing's alive. <laughs> it's gonna blow. <laughs> Talk about a dynamite sound. Whew. I guess practice is over. Hey, come on, man. Let's play on the Hey, you guys, wait. Sorry about that, Fat Albert. Hey, 
Fat Albert. Oh, uh, hi, Mudfoot. You look lower than the snake's tennis shoes. What's the problem? Oh, we're trying to win a hundred dollar prize in the Battle of the Bands, but we can't get our sound together, you know what I mean? You have to work real hard to be good at music. When I was in show business, I practiced night and day. <laughs> well, we practice hard, it just doesn't seem to do much good. You youngins need some professional help, and I know just the person. You do? I just said I did. Now, you get your band together and meet me back here, I'll take you to see Lester Benson. Back in the 50s, he was one of the greatest jazz sax players in the whole country. Wow, a real musician. Gee, thanks, Mudfoot. I'll get the gang, and we'll be right back. Don't go away! If enthusiasm was music, that boy would be a whole orchestra. Good old Mudfoot. He's always ready to help Fat Albert with a problem. I know. Uh, I don't think this is my instrument. you to meet some friends of mine. Uh, we've already met once. You have? Yes, and uh, once was more than enough. Gee, Mr. Benson, if you just let us explain. Uh, I don't know what you kids are up to, but I don't want any part of it. Excuse me. Well, that was a surprise for the gang, and not too pleasant a surprise, either. <whistles> Mr. Benson is still upset about the rude treatment he got from Buddy, and now he thinks that Fat Albert and the gang feel the same way about him. But maybe they can do something to change his mind. <whistles> At least I sure hope they can. After these messages, our show will be right back. Watch me trick Fred. Want to star in a TV commercial? Me a star? How? Read this. Have some cocoa pebbles, Vaughn. Okay. Make up. Mm. Cocoa muscle. Right. Thank you. Uh oh, Barney. <laughs> that show is most cocoa pebble cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Oh, waiter, another very blue flavor Kool Aid, please. <laughs> and get a free Kool-Aid packet in Post Pebble Cereal. Charms Blow Pop, take one. Action. Fruit flavored candy on the outside. Say it. Bubblegum on the inside. Fabulous. That's a Blow Pop. That's a Blow Pop. Fruit Charms. Now flavors. Cherry. Great. Strawberry. <laughs> Sour Apple. Watermelon. Cut, cut. 
It's wild and wacky, free wheel and fun. That's it. As Punky and her pals keep your morning on the run with... Punky Power. And that ain't no bull. Punky Brewster is next. We now return to our show. Boy, we really blew it. We should have said something when that creepy buddy started razzing Mr. Benson. His mouth was working so fast, we would have needed a crowbar to get a word in. Now Mr. Benson won't even let us explain. But maybe he will let us apologize. Apologize? Oh, but we didn't do anything. Hey, Fat Albert's right. We should have done something. So now let's apologize for not doing anything. It's worth a try. Better tell the manager about this. Mr. Oh. Benson? Hey, Fat Albert, look! When you guys call the three. I'll do it! Hurry. I can't hold on much longer. We'll never get him out in time. I'll take care of that. Hurry up, guys. Careful, boys. This roof is weak. Can't hold it much longer. That Albert's about to give out. We've got to find a rope or something. Here you go. Okay, guys. Pull! Oh! Shoo! That was too close for everybody, including me. Uh, boys, uh, I, I guess I was wrong about you. Well, sir. We were kind of wrong ourselves. That's why we came over to apologize. Tell you what, fellas, uh, let's just say all of us had a little bit of misunderstanding and leave it at that. That's all right with us. All right, you man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. man, right on. And if you still want me to help you with your music, well, I'll teach you everything I know and then some. Great, man. Terrific. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Great, Great, man. Woo -hoo. Well, everything seems to have worked out all right for Mr. Benson and the gang. And with his help, their sound ought to improve. I hope so. I think it's time for the Battle of the Bands. Let's drop in and see how the gang does. group of local boys who call themselves the Junkyard Band. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to dedicate this number to someone who really helped us out, Mr. Lester Benson. Hey, 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 let's really play. <laughs>
winner. And the winner is the Junkyard Band. Thanks, Mr. Benson. Uh, I thank you, Fat Albert. Uh, now go get that prize. Mr. Benson, it sure would be nice if you did this encore with us, please. Fat Albert, uh, I thought you'd never ask. Excuse me, slush. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, let's do it our way. took hard work, but no one's ever been a winner without hard work. As for Mr. Benson, he's found out that kids are willing to learn from older folks once they all understand each other. Hmm. I wonder if, um, I guess I, I mean, I could work on this. I, I could probably be great. And that's another thing, so you keep saying you probably could without working at it, so I'm going to work at it. So there's a thing about knowing what you're really good at. Our show will be back after these messages. Hello, Blue Jay. How are you? Blue Jay. Hello, Sparrow. What's new? Howdy, Robin. Nice day, isn't it? <laughs> the McDonald's Happy Meal, uh, guys. What are you doing? Practicing our bird calls. Bird calls. <laughs> <laughs> when you buy McDonald's Happy Meal, you get a neat garden tool. You're all really cool. There's a shovel, a pot to plant seeds, sprinkle on water, and rake away the leaves. One each week, four in all. You can have a ball. Little Gardener Happy Meal at McDonald's. A person supposed to hibernate with this noise, frog? Out of my way, amphibian! He needs an attitude adjustment. Honey Smacks will sweeten him up. <laughs> oh, how sweet it is! You can make Kellogg's Honey Smacks part of your complete breakfast. How sweet it is! Here's a little financial tip. You can get a coupon for a free Dairy Queen Sunday on the back of Honey Smacks. Because if you're anything like me, you could always use a little cold cash. Hey, kids, guess who's knocking at NBC's door next? Knock, knock. Who's there? Punky. Punky who? Punky Brewster. Hey, I don't get it either. That's okay, Al. Punky Brewster is returning to NBC today with her magical friend Glomer and all the gang. So join in the fun next, only on NBC. can pick up a package. Follow me. Mommy! Getting lost can be one of the scariest things in your life. So when you're lost in a public place, find someone, a policeman, or a salesperson in a store and ask for help. Don't just ask any stranger. As long as there's people around you, you won't be lost for long. I lost my mommy in the store. Will you help me? Sure. Tell me your mother's name and we'll call her over the loudspeaker. Mrs. Russell. Okay. We'll find her in a jiffy. Mrs. Russell, will you please report to the perfume counter? 
And that's one to grow up.